Good morning and happy Wastelanders Day, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, really excited because it's finally live and it's a bit early, so I'm speaking to an empty room right now uh, because I was supposed to go live at 5 o'clock a.m., but they um, they pushed the update early. They pushed the update live a little bit early, so uh, as a consequence, I also am a little bit early. Um, but, and Weird Beard is in the chat. <laughs> Weird Beard first on the scene. Good to see you, Weird Beard. Good to see everybody in the chat today. Jay-Z is in the chat. Uh, uh, good to see all of the members in the chat today. Man, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. I don't know if you can tell. I hope I don't appear too tired, but I don't know what the, what the deal was. I went to sleep last night. I'm like, I'm going to be refreshed for Wastelanders in the morning. I'm going to set my alarm. I'm going to be ready to go. And I lay in bed. Nothing. Hours go by. I'm lying in bed. I can't sleep. So I just came down here and it ended up being a good thing because they released everything early. So here's the deal. We're going to start right off. I hope you read the patch notes for Fallout 76 because we learned a, a lot about, you know, where to go to get the quests. We're not going to start with a new character um, because the main quest hasn't changed much at all. If you read the patch notes, um, they tell us that all they did is sprinkle the existing quest for Fallout 76 with a few NPCs here and there to add more color and, and interest to the primary base game plot. They've added new quests that uh, we can start now. Um, from what I remember, there are two new NPCs outside Fallout uh, Vault 76 that start us on a quest. Then when we reach level 20, we can go to Sutton, I think it is, to pick up the actual primary main quest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Vault 76, find the people just outside, and then try to just go with that. Additionally, there are uh, not companions, but I, well, I'm not going to go throughout the whole, whole um, patch notes, but there are companions that aren't companions. Basically, we can find NPCs in the world that we can become friends with and have the potential to romance and convince to move into our camp. <laughs> they don't get to walk around with us or anything. Uh, they, they can't join us as battle companions, but uh, they can like join our camp and move in. So it's a, it's a weird thing. Here we go. Let's dive in. Uh, atomic shop free. What? Okay. Uh, what's free? <laughs> what's free? Um, I don't know. Why did it say free? Featured. 50% off. 10% off. Skins. I, I don't see the free thing. Maybe I'm just missing it. But whatever. I don't. That's not why I'm here. That. <laughs> Why? Maybe I just missed it. All right, let's dive in. Now, um, you're not going to see my face. And that's because I need this footage for upcoming lore videos. I want to do a lore series on Wastelanders. And I can't have my face in the upper right-hand corner. So no face during the stream. If that bothers too many of you, I can change that. I can change it. But that's the plan for now. This is Commander Sophia Daguerre of the USSA. This is an emergency. U.S.S.A. Come in. Please, come in. <sighs> there was a malfunction upon re-entry. I repeat, we have crashed somewhere. <sighs> Please hurry. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for the tip. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I just uh, spawned right into my, uh, my camp here. And uh, <laughs> we've already got a new quest. Event radiation rumble. What's read scribe Grant's terminal? Hold on a minute. Where's what? What it? Okay, some new arrivals. I'm picking up radio transmissions from the overseer. I should tune my pit boy in to listen. Crash landing. Investigate the emergency signal daily. Someone to talk to. The new arrivals and check out for newcomers outside Vault 76. All right, let's just dive into Vault 76. Um, yeah, check out the newcomers outside Vault 76. Ooh.
How do you emote again? I forget how to wave. Okay, so there are people outside. The Wayward, opening soon. Food, drinks, rooms, refuge. Conveniently located at the corner of Route 86 and Route 88. All kinds welcome. Matthew Churchard with a tip says, Good day to you, Oxhorn. You got a fan's email? I've done some art I want to send you. Have fun with Wastelanders. Top lad, thank you very much. I don't have a publicly available email, but I am on Twitter. You can always send me something on Twitter. All right. So it's not penting time. Got to be a way in there. Wayward Souls, new quest. Whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Oh, wow. So, this is how it works. Okay, uh, the door is sealed tight. No one's getting in. It's been a while since I left the vault, but it should be sealed tight. It's probably empty now. Doubt anyone's still in there. What's your interest in Vault 76? My partner and I need a way into that vault. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck on. Okay, so um, I think I've come upon my first bug. Um, so you see the uh, the text at the bottom, we have two options. Space um, to skip it, and then shift to change the dialogue camera. Well, I was pressing shift to change the dialogue camera, and that skipped the dialogue. Uh, so we actually missed the end of that, di that dialogue snippet because I tried to change the camera. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with the, uh, I'm not gonna mess with the camera. Um, the big one, what are you talking about, Lie? Oh yeah, the big one's in there, all right. We managed to trap it, but I barely made it out with my life. I'm assuming, yeah, because because it skipped the last of that, I don't know. Um, the big one, what are you talking about? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Audio echo? Uh, Right, that turns off the echo, but it might also turn off the music. I'll try and fix it later. Um, oh, the treasure? There's a treasure out there? Well, yeah. There was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just going to stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Uh, sure. So we can ask about the treasure. We can ask about the area. What's the world like out there? I better go. Let's, let's find out about the, uh, the treasure. Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down, in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. I'm surprised that there are no subtitles. Um, ooh. Oh, pressing escape leaves the conversation. All right, uh, let me try and put on some subtitles. Um, growing pains while we learn how this works. Display uh, subtitles. Is there going to be general subtitles on? Dialogue is subtitles off. Okay. Well, let's turn those on. Conversation, history, size, show floating markers. That's right, there's a bunch of new stuff with Wastelanders uh, in the uh, UI here. Um, 
show active effects on HUD. Anything else new? I think that's it. All right, well, let's let's start over, and I'll try not to skip the dialogue this time. It can't be a dead end. Oh, was there something else? All right, let's actually... Okay, so we can restart from here. We can't go back to the very beginning. Hey, there's the history. That's cool. All right, let's uh, let's listen to this one again. Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down, in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. All right, then. Well, what can you tell me about the area? About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The Scorched. The Merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Hmm. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. What's the world like out there? We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. I'd better be going. Watch yourself out there. Is that it? Uh, couldn't I ask about a bar? Still kicking, huh? Back to share some leads? Nope. Watch yourself out there. Let's talk to Izella here. Talk to Lacey. She got us into this. Okay, so she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. All right, we got a campfire over here. Looks like they brought some doodads with them. Now, uh, let's take a look at our, que our quest log here. All right, the new arrivals. This is... Um, All right, I'm gonna track one at a time. There's only so much I can do. So let's remove this one and let's track the wayward souls. The women have directed me toward, towards the wayward, a recently set up bar farther down the mountain. I should pay it a visit. Brett Bus says, holy crap, Oxhorn, at 4.30 in the morning, can't wait to watch some Wastelanders. Well, here we are. Uh, all right, now I also read that we could go straight to the map. Um, show on map. Hey, cool. Okay, so uh, basically it's by the Overseer's Camp. There's a new bar by the Overseer's Camp. Okay. Well, um, for the sake of the lore video, let's not fast travel there. And let's run. AmeriGamer says, Are you playing from Steam or the Bethesda Launcher? I'm playing from the Bethesda Launcher. I couldn't bear with the idea of losing all my atoms, even though I never spend them. So yeah, I'm not playing from Steam. Dad Left a Toaster says, really excited to watch today, Ox. Have a good day. Thank you very much, Dad Left a Toaster. And I should clarify that you don't lose your atoms if you start playing on Steam. Basically, what happens is um, if you played on uh, Bethesda.net, you can, you can use your existing character and any items you bought with atoms and play from Steam. But the atoms that are on your Bethesda.net account, from what I read, don't transfer to a Steam account. So... If you want to play from Steam instead, you should spend all of your atoms first before moving on over. Sorry for missing the show, Ox, says Smothox. Don't worry about it. You're actually um, early, <laughs> and I'm, ac I'm early. It's only 4.43 my time. I was supposed to start at 5, but they released the update early. So we're getting an early start. Uh, so we're going to start with this quest that's right outside Vault 76, and once we're done with it, we'll move on to the next quest, which uh, I believe we already have in our inventory. Is this the Wayward? Ah, it's just about time to eat. Wow, we've got NPCs! Hello! Now that people I'm find myself a fat area, man and give them raiders a reason to call it crater. Like foundation. Ooh, everyone's liking to talk to me Out right here, now. Out here, we don't have the same protection as foundation. 
foundation. What's foundation? Looks like it might rain later. The further out we expand our influence, the more people we can help. Cool. All right, so this is not the wayward. I suppose I should follow the quest marker. Oh, I'm at the isolated cabin. What's that noise? We got company. <laughs> Need a fire to keep warm in the sun. Ah, I don't like the fog. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. <laughs> That's just all this talking. Okay. All right, let's head on over to the Wayward. So it's cool. We've got new NPCs in uh, previously existing locations. We explored that isolated cabin a long, long time ago, but now people live there. That's really cool. Uh, Stina says, in solidarity of not sleeping before a day of gaming, hashtag go ox sets. In solidarity, Stina. <laughs> Glad to have you on the program. All right, uh, we've got these daily quests that are clogging up my... my. Um, let's remove those. Can I... Oh, side daily. Let's turn these off for now so I'm not constantly tracking them. Uh, draw, uh, ally crash landing, is that... How can I... How do I turn... Oh, is, is that an event? Side. Oh, it's a side quest. A new side quest. I've picked up a... A puzzling broadcast from someone calling themselves Commander Sophia Daguerre. D Dag Daguerre? I should follow the coordinates they've provided if I'm going to get to the bottom of this. All right, I really need to do one quest at a time, I think, instead of um, um, doing it all at once. So this is a new side quest, Ally Crash Landing. Okay. Talk, talk to the Overseer. Oh! You found all the holotapes left by the Overseer. You should talk to her. Hey! They they updated the Overseer's mission. We can go talk to the Overseer? Oh, I really want to do that right now. Uh, we're on a quest. Okay, I'll go back to my side quest later. All right, wayward souls. This is what we're doing now. Hey, we get to meet the Overseer, everybody. I knew it. This is what I speculated at the end of my Overseer video. Okay. Oh, sorry to hop over the fence, but... Hey! Automatron! Hey, this, we discover the wayward. Exhalation oh. of air through nostrils. It's painted like a cow and its name is Bessie. Oh, that's great. So Laddie Bartfest says, wanted to get in there first. Drink, Ox. Thanks. I just got coffee today. All right, so there's the wayward. One violent night. Uh, that's an event. What's that? Workbenches that way. Oh, that's the overseer's camp. Cool. We can go explore that in a bit. All right, so this is the new bar that we need to go to. We've got a medical supplies outside and an ammo vendor. Let's head inside. Team only interior. A private area that's unique to your character. You only you and your teammates can be in this interior. Friends and strangers can't join you. Make important story choices that have large consequences. Progress is saved less frequently when in a solo interior. Be sure your quest has been checkpointed before leaving. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So we can go in alone and no one else can come in. No Name says a robot that moves. I know. Man, I really wish I could fix the music issue because the Wastelander's music is so gorgeous. Uh, but I can't have it in the recording. Um. Well, let's just continue on. Uh, all right. So this is the inside. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now. Honey, you... Hey, we're not done here. Don't You're going shoot. nowhere. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute here. I feel like I just missed something. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I missed a dialogue option, and I did, I, like a, a dialogue scene, and I didn't want to. Uh, maybe if I go inside, it didn't save my progress or something. Because um, I was just trying to turn on my flashlight by, by holding tab. 
so that I could see everybody more clearly, but hey. it thought that I was trying to skip the dialogue. Fine. I told you it was gonna end badly. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. It's Duchess! Well, bummer. I'm really disappointed that we missed out the, uh... The uh, dialogue with Batter here, but I think we can guess exactly what went on. He's probably a raider that came in here to hold up the place, and we came in just in time to kill him. All right, I gotta be careful which buttons I'm pressing when an, a dialogue scene starts. Of course, I couldn't expect that. It just sort of happened when I walked in the room, but whatever. All right, Duchess, hey, let's get to know Duchess here. Oh, well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Oh, that's a cool an cool new animation. She actually got a bottle from underneath. Oh, that's great. Uh, what was that all about? He said something about a treasure? Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fella named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a bud in business. All right, you know what? Uh, I'm really enjoying the history, but for a lore video that I might want to make later, I think it might be distracting. So I'm going to go and ahead and hide the history here. Um, what can you tell me about the area? Not a whole hell of a lot. We only just got back here ourselves. A hundred years ago, before the bombs, this was a popular little highway between two of Appalachia's biggest cities, Morgantown up north and Charleston to the south. We set up here hoping it might relive that fate, but so far all we've gotten is trouble. Okay, I'm gonna try and change the camera without skipping any dialogue by holding shift. Okay, so holding shift in dialogue allows me to look around but if you do it while they're talking, it skips their dialogue. So we have to do it during these breaks right here. Uh, okay. You looking for help with dealing with these thugs? Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy you put down. He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Oh, Alright, we have some options. Okay, I'll help you. I'd like to hear this plan first. How much are you paying? You want me to kill him? Why not send your friend over there? Ooh, I like that one. Primarily... Primarily because your security other than me right now, are one former contractor and a robot that has no guns and thinks it's a cow. To not put too fine a point on it. <laughs> so I could absolutely use another set of hands if you're willing to lend them. Um, well, what do you know about them? Only that they want something from Crane, but I think we could use that to our advantage. That is, if you're doing this job for me. Okay, let me try and mouse look back to her. Okay. I'd like to hear this plan first. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Oh. Oh, I don't have enough charisma for this option. Mail invitations, maybe? That's what my mom did for my birthday parties. Though I guess no one came to those either. Okay, so the options I actually can choose are... Oh! Salisbury steak? That always got people running in the vault. Or I can pass an intelligence check to say you want me to pretend to be Crane, don't ya? Or we can say my time is precious. Just say what you want. Or we can say, uh, I don't know, a sign? Let's pass the intelligence check. Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. 
I can't move. Oh, wait. Oh, no, if I hold shift, it's going to end the dialogue. Oh, okay, I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell Whoa. the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? So I gotta build this at my camp? Okay. Sure, I know how to build structures from schematics. Build a sign? Are you crazy? I don't know how to do that! How did you know I was from a vault? You vault boys and girls carry yourselves different. Like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway. Oh, yeah. But that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? Build a sign? Are you crazy? I don't know how to do that. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, okay, I see. New plan. We paint all the Brahmin. And then we... That just... Plan's fine. I can walk them through how to build it. How's that exactly? I was hunkering down for quite some time waiting for this headless monster thing to clear off on my last ammo hunt. Ended up reading some old training materials to pass the time, and guess what? Made some tapes on it. Oh, Mort. Not the tapes. You have a better option? Not one that doesn't involve painting all my cattle. There you go, I suppose. You can talk to Mort. Of Course you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? We can pass a charisma check to say construction, scrapping, and dealing with thugs. You're gonna need to pay more for all of that. Or we can say yes or no. Let's pass the charisma check. It is a lot to ask. Fine. I could do 75, but that's as high as I'll go. That means you're up to the task? Oh boy, 75 caps? Let's do this. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Okay, now let's see what she has for sale on her inventory as soon as this little sticker fades away. What'd we get? Tarberry, iguana on a stick, bourbon, stim packs right away, etc. Quest started, hunter for hire, okay. Stop the attacks on the wayward for good. And wait for the sticker to go away because I gotta see her mouth move. Oh, she doesn't say anything. Um, so she doesn't sell anything but ammunition, aid, no apparel, no weapons, that's it. Okay, that's it. Interesting that she doesn't say that. Um, optional, speak to Mort about building at your camp. Optional, build a weapons workbench at your camp to scrap items. Uh, okay. Let's talk to Mort, see what he has to say. Let me turn my light on first. That's way too bright. All right, oh, and I'm getting thirsty. Oh, survival mechanics, gotta love it. Let's see. Hey there, Mort. Crazy, now that is just crazy. They hand you vault kitties, all this fancy equipment, and then just throw you to the wolves. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now, because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Can I ask what happened to you? Allergies. Learned the hard way I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. 
<laughs> Come on, man, that's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on Doomsday. Now you see, I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, and then quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door right into the back, and then... Bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. Better than All a fridge, cost I me guess. My skin <laughs> and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still, beats being vaporized. All right, so Mort is our introdu introduction to a ghoul. What's it like being a ghoul? I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also, means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saved. Not sure how it happens. Why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turn, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! <laughs> <laughs> Ser seriously? I laughed. Nothing? I laughed. Shit. I thought it was funny. It was Overall, funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. All right, then. There's a bit of a lag between the end of his uh, conversation here and our menu popping up. Oh, so, so what's your job here? Don't have one. I'm an independent operator. When these folks need a hand or got an errand that involves running into radiation, they come to me. Rats, <laughs> they don't bother me anymore. In exchange, Duchess lets me drink. It doesn't bother me too much about my tab. Really, about the best sort of setup a guy in my situation could ever ask for. Of course, sitting around looking like hamburger ain't all I do. Plans work out, I'll have all the drinking money I could ever need. But that ain't what you came here to talk about. Was there something else? All right, Mort, can you tell me how to set up my camp? Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm gonna help you, I want something in return. <laughs> and what's that? All right, listen, I got this plan. You're gonna help me get rich. Uh -oh. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Uh -huh. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give him a listen and let me know what you think. Really? His request is that I listen to his holotapes? Okay. Brett Buss says I like Mort. I like Mort too. Uh, these tapes you recorded with the voice you're speaking in right now? It's the only voice I got, so yeah, that's what you're going to hear. Now you want him or not? All right, sure, I'll listen to him. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken him out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? Uh, didn't we already do? So what's your job here? Don't have one. I'm an independent we, operator. We did when these folks need a red, <laughs> in exchange, just, really, well, at least, uh, didn't have anything at the moment. Some other time then. Okay, let's listen to these brand new holotapes. Mort, Mort, Mort. All right, so it's only three of them. I think we can get through this. Son of a... What tiny fist that a rat built? Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. They think it's on. It's, hello? <clears throat> hello. This is Mort McCoy. <laughs> and welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. Today, we're talking about your camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, 
for the first time, remember to... Remember to crap. crap. <laughs> remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility, and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Yay! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment <clears throat> details. Damn, I had to get that one wrong. An eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. Get your chops. Come on, Mort, what, what, what was that? <laughs> Mort's having way too much fun with these holotapes. I think he likes the sound of his own voice. Sounds familiar. Josh Bunton says, if you run into a Julian, I'm getting lemur vibes from Penguin of Madagascar fan. I am as well. All right, tape number two. Hello, dedicated listeners. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's Edutapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is... Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, oh. <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three, do I have all the required materials too? Who the hell bled on my notes? Saul! If I find out who you're gonna bleed on... Whatever. Short on materials, loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic, your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edutapes, Edutapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be dead. Where are you hiding? <laughs> and finally, Mort's Edutape number three. Welcome back, lovely listeners, to Headmaster Mort's final tape in the camp series, Powering Your Camp. After listening to the second tape, you should already be well trained, enough to build a generator. If you haven't yet done so, I'll wait. I do, 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 da. I do, do, do. Dude, ah, All the time it. in the world, Mort. All right, I, I'll assume you nailed it. Now, generators are the heart of your camp power system. Once your generator is built, all you need to do is connect it to the object that needs power with a wire. Though, be aware, your wire will need a clear, unobstructed path to establish and maintain a direct connection. Some objects, however, like simple light bulbs, do not require a direct connection. All you need to do is run a wire from your generator to a power pylon. Place the power pylon near your lights, then voila! Let there be lights! Well, this has been Headmaster Mort's Camp Construction Holotapes. Please check back with Headmaster Mort himself at The Wayward to learn more about his other exciting courses, including... Oh God, no! Mort, can I salute this? And mutations! Am I a monster now? Don't tell me he's got more hollow tapes. Thanks again for listening. Ha! Nailed it. Nice, Mort. All right, all right. I listened to your hollow tapes. Oh, hey there. Looking forward to hearing what you thought of those tapes. Now, what do you want to discuss? I listened to your tapes, Mort. Did you now? What did you think? Uh, you're going to be huge, Mort. Or they were rough, but they got better as you went. Or... Mort, they were really bad. Or, you know, I think you've got a real future as a producer. Let someone else handle the talking and writing and all the technical aspects of the job. <laughs> oh, poor Mort. Hey, you know what? 
he wants to be a radio jockey guy or a holotape guy. I'm going to I'm going to give him some I'm going to cheer him up. I want to encourage him, but you know what? I also want to let him know that he needs to work on it a little bit. They were rough, but they got better. No, 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 wait. Let's pump him up. You're going to be huge, Mort. Ha. Huh. <laughs> if I needed smoke blowing up my ass, I'd sit on a campfire. Oh, okay, wow. seriously. What'd you think? Okay, fine. Well, they were rough, but they got better as you went. I mean, yeah, that's what I thought, too. I, I figured I'd do a couple more batches. I mean, I'll have this thing down. Headmaster Mort will be a household name before you know it. Thanks for being honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to lie Now, first. was there something else I could do for you? I guess that's it. Some other time, then. So, we got to meet Mort, and I like him already. He's probably my favorite character so far. So this is our interior cell, so let's uh, loot everything. Uh, mutt chops. Oh, I'm probably, I'm hungry. Let's grab some mutt chops. Uh, she did say we could help ourselves, so I don't feel like I'm stealing or anything. Anything in the fridge? Wow, that light is so bright. I think I need to reduce the brightness of my headlamp here. Yeah, I can barely see that that's a clipboard. All right, we got a restroom over here. I feel like I can't find the right level of brightness. Toilet paper, aluminum canister, cigarettes. That's it. Oh, not a lot, a whole lot of, of loot here. Let's go upstairs. Ooh, bear skin rug. What's that? Hello. Restricted area, keep out. I think I want to go in there. Is there a key? Ah. Oh! That's right! I need to re-equip my lock-picking stuff. I took it all off after I finished the game, you know, because I, I didn't really need to... Well, what should I what should I take off? I don't use a lot of... Well, let's take this off. Gladiator, gladiator, and then... Um, gladiator. And then we'll put on... Oh, that's strength! No, I need that. Gladiator, gladiator, gladiator. It's perception, right? Okay, so I gotta take off... Oh, man, I guess I'm gonna take off Rifleman. 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 Lockpick. Lockpick. Lockpick! Here we go! Oh, yeah. Laura Keat Gaming says good night, and you're welcome. Visit with Officer Whitehead. Hello. Uh. Uh. Mud? Jerry, to what do I owe the pleasure? Not a social call, Mud. They're coming. You want to be more specific? They who? B A D T F L. The Bureau of, the Bureau Alcohol, of Alcohol, Drugs, Drugs and, and No Fun is paying Welch a visit. Tobacco and firearms. Says who? Uh, says me, Duchess. You need to skip town. ASAP. Oh, it's Duchess. You're a crooked cop, Gerald. Associating with known smugglers of firearms and illicit substances. How can you be trusted? Why are you making this so hard? I'm trying to keep you out of jail. Gerald, please. This hurts to watch. Can we just be honest with each other? Hey, I'll start. What are you... My friends, plural, at the Bureau, Whoops. say you've been making some big claims about this Appalachian drug kingpin you're about to bring in. The one you're trying to get rid of so your new friends from Charleston can take her territory. But wouldn't you know, all that extra yammering got them looking into your finances and your house and your car and they didn't like what they found. So yes, Gerald, they're coming. But no one's coming oh, looking oh, for me. Okay. Watch my video on Welch. I did an entire video dedicated to the town of Welch where we found Duchess's stash. In that video, we found a pre-war record of a lady named Duchess who was running some sort of clandestine drug ring from the town of Welch. It's the same Duchess. Here we are 20 some odd years later, or however, however, 25 years later, 26 now, and she's back. She left, but she came back. She's, it's the same Duchess. 
the pre-war duchess. I'm, I'm just really excited. That's great. Okay, where were we? That's the door. Duchess's bedroom. Maybe she went to Watoga High or something. So it looks like we can rest in that bed. It doesn't appear to be owned. Or if they even have an owned system here when it comes to beds. Um, now, but we still haven't found a key to this door. Delocker says, it's a shame it took two years for Bethesda to give us a proper game in Fallout 76. Still, thanks for covering it, as only you can, Oxhorn. Thank you very much, Delocker. I enjoyed Fallout 76 before Wastelanders came out. I had a lot of criticisms of it as well. But so far, I'm really enjoying Wastelanders. All right, um, if you see a key, let me know. Maybe the key is a quest reward or something that we're going to get later on. Or in typical Fallout 76 fashion, it could just be randomly hiding somewhere in the world. And we just don't know where it is. Because uh, that door needs a key. And I'm not finding any other safes. But I also don't want to spend an hour looking for it. So we're going to... Gonna, uh, we're kind of going to... Just look around one more time. And I don't see it. So... Only wayward upstairs room key can unlock. We need the wayward upstairs room key. And it's not here, but you know what? Maybe it's downstairs. Oh, I bet you we could probably pickpocket it off of... Uh... Oh, we can't... Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking Fallout 4. All right. Uh, key, key, key. Where would there be a key? Oh! Get stuck. I'm not seeing any key... Oh, look at all those bottles. That's a lot of bottles. It appears to all be set decoration, though. I don't think we uh, can actually loot any of those bottles. You missed a safe in the bedroom, did I? I got the safe. Did I miss the safe in the bedroom? That's, uh, that's a heating vent. That also is a heating vent. No wall safe. No wall safe in the bedroom. Looking behind the picture. No safe. No safe. No safe in the bedroom. All right, I'm not going to linger here too much longer. So basically what we need to do now is we need to head back to our camp and craft this big beacon that's going to attract the raiders who have been harassing this particular saloon. And then we can deal with them as we may. All right, I'm not finding the key over there. Let's go over to this section real quick. I bet you... It's a quest reward or something. I doubt we're going to find it just lying around over here. But you never know in Fallout 76. They like to keep things hidden. Alright, that's it. Oh. Okay, let's head out. Oh, we don't have to. That's right, we can fast travel from anywhere. I keep forgetting what, what game I'm... I just finished a Far Harbor series in Fallout 4, so you'll forgive me if I forget all of the niceties of Fallout 76. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Oh, there's this over here. Hello. Uh, as Royal Sagittarius says, Hey Ox, I've been watching your videos for a while since Call of Cthulhu. This is my first time doing this for your stream. I wanted to ask, after Wasteland and the Alan Wake DLC, will you consider Murdered Soul Suspect? Um, I don't know. I'll have to add it to the list of games that I want to look at. But, um, frankly, I, I ha I'm not uh, terribly aware of that game. But uh, maybe I'll take a look at it and see if it's something I want to add to the list of games I'm going to cover. Cash register? No, not in the cash register. And it's not in any of the lockers. Uh, these two foot lockers are unlocked, so we don't need to worry about picking those. All right. No key. Okay, let's fast travel to camp. You should go spend time with Calbot. Oh, I've spent time with Calbot. What's this? Collect data. Take the elevator. Okay, so those are dailies. Hey, there's... Oh, she is in Sutton. She's all the way back in Sutton. Well, I I'm going to save that to do that later. Let's go back to camp and craft this thing. Thank you for all you do, says Jeff Lane. Thank you, Jeff Lane. 
Weirbeard says, I wonder if the little girl and Duchess's bodyguards are also in the DLC. I wonder if we can talk with Duchess about that. What would you like in your stocking? Note, stockings not included. I forgot about him. I got him at Christmas time. Okay, now, what do we need this to craft? Unit will not be accepted. Read the plan. Crane treasure hunting sign. Okay. Flap. Um, we apologize for the notes. Plan. Crane treasure hunting sign. I can now craft a crane treasure hunting sign. Um, there it is. Wow, it went right to it. Nick has problems, says, just finished my survival unmodded playthrough of Fallout 4 and challenge you to do the same. It's a nice experience. I may sometime. Thank you very much. Okay, do I have the budget? I do. Let's put the sign over here. Crane treasure hunting. Broadcast tape. Issued. Please deposit data tape into any relay system terminal. Target marked. Okay. Load broadcast tape in a radio tower and activate the connection. Into a radio tower? Uh, uh, load, a, load broadcast tape into a radio tower. Build a weapons workbench at your camp to scrap items. I've already done that. Uh, okay, I guess we need to find a nearby radio tower. Douglas Delagard says, hello, Ox, and all in chat. Can only watch for a little bit. We'll watch more later. Thanks for stopping by, Douglas. Sarah, with a very generous tip, says, thanks, Ox, for covering 76. You are indeed welcome. Okay, so uh, the, wh where's the closest radio tower? That's Ripper Alley, that's new. Oh, no, it's not new. It's just a new icon. All right, I remember these radio towers. I'm trying to remember where the closest one is. There's one. Relay tower, LWB1. Is that the closest one, though? There's another one. No, that's KMAX transmission. Uh, am I going to have to fast travel all the way up there? I think so. I think so. There's another one. Relay tower, ELB1. Yeah, there's none over here by White Springs, is there? Okay, looks like I'm going north. Well, I got the caps to spend. Let's do it. All right. So this is where we did those uh, stashes. Remember, we had to load broadcast tape into a radio tower and activate the connection. So I hooked it up. Uh, let's go into a radio tower here. Oh. I knew it. I Dog on laser tripwire. Can I jump over? Nope. I splattered your brains. How you hurt me. I won't ask questions. I'll just take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, scope handmade. Oh, they're outside. All right, let's load the, th the thing. Emergency management system relay. Load hollow tape. Uh, load broadcast hollow tape in a radio tower. Broadcast hollow tape. Broadcast hollow tape. It is. Activate transmitter. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast pulse. Attention, all consumers. New business established. Please seek out Crane Treasure Hunting Incorporated to exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Follow the sign. 
to fortune. Broadcast complete. There we go. That's the lure. So that's going to send raiders to our camp. Do I need to eject the holotape? No, I don't. Noah B says, just got here. What's hap happening? We're playing Wastelanders. That's what's happening. Thanks for stopping by. Peter says, uh, thanks for the great content. Ox, keep it up. Are things opening up at all where you're at? Not yet. We are all still in quarantine right now. So we're going to make the best of it and play video games. <laughs> That's how I'm going to make the best of it. You need piercing magazine on the shotgun, says uh, Vladimir. Do I really? All right, I'll take a look at it. Uh, now, let's uh, loot while we're here. By the way, that's new. Did you did you notice that? Uh, well, if I find another consumable, I'll show it to you. But we can consume things uh, by picking them up. We don't have to access them from the inventory anymore. Also, another thing that I'm really excited about is they said in the uh, patch notes that they completely redid the way light works in the game. So if the game just looks a lot different, um, it's probably because they redid lighting. It, and, Incidentally, lighting is one of the things that really bothered me about the game. Um, I always felt the lighting was a little off. So, there! Did you see that? You see how I could have drunk it right there? Alright. Now there's some... I, I can't fast travel from here because there's something on top. Oh, and he almost caught me. Okay, now I can fast travel. All right, back to camp. What? What? Oh, that's right. That's that's kind of new because there's an enemy nearby. Southpaw says, "Hey, Ox, what are your first impressions? I'm about to fire it up. I'm having a good time so far." Uh, really, we're, we're kind of in the easiest missions of Wastelanders. I mean, they gave us a, a camp tutorial, right? So uh, I'm uh, looking forward to getting into some of the later stuff. But you got to start somewhere, and I'm happy to start here. Okay. Here we are. Back at camp. See who the sign draws in. Crane treasure hunting. All right, so who's going to come? Eh, here we go. He's coming for my Santa bot. Maybe he's a good guy. Pray. You here? Hello, treasure hunter. Whoa, you're not Crane. The hell's going on here? Uh, we have three options. You know, Crane. He tell you anything about this treasure he found? Move along, little man. I'm waiting for someone, and you don't want to be around when they arrive. Where's your gang? Tell me or I'll eat your eyeballs. Let's uh, see if we can learn more about Crane and this treasure. Everyone is telling me to put the Rifleman cards back on. Thanks, I appreciate it, but um, I really don't want to be swapping cards on and off again. So I'm just going to keep my lockpick cards on while I'm exploring this new DLC. Crane found the treasure. Holy shit. Where is he? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. The last place he was spotted was this bar down the hill from Vault 76 to Wayward. 
Uh, that's none of your concern. What can you tell me about Crane? Probably not much more than you. He came to Appalachia not far back, hunting for the same treasure everyone else is. Last time I saw him, he mentioned something about an abandoned storage facility he'd picked up some details on, but beyond the general, he didn't share. Now, your turn. Where is he? So we could send him to the Wayward, or be very rude. Well, let's be nice to him. The Wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Oh, shit. I've got to get over to... Uh, not here. Good luck with those guys. What guys? Where are my little elves? No, really. I fear for their safety. Why not make this easy? Free radical? Oh, hi! Ukraine? Mm. Quite the setup you got here. So, rumor is you got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. Uh, we, oh, we've got a lot of options. We can pass a strength check to say, no, you tell me where your hideout is. Or I'll turn your insides inside out. Or I'll turn you inside out. We can pass a luck check to say, I bet your name is Davy. Davy, you said you were going to help me kill this one, right? <laughs> uh, how about we trade? I'll tell you where the treasure is if you tell me where your gang is camped. I'll share, but I want to join your crew. Now, where do I go to apply or we can attack? Strength check or luck check? Let's pass the luck check. Excuse me? How does this jerk know your name? You're working together. What? No! Can't you see they're full of- Oh. <laughs> oh! Davy! Bring me Crane! Crane, last spotted the wayward. Sex, male, build, middle. Dangerous, allegedly not, but be careful. First person to get him to give up the location of his treasure gets a share of the overall take. West Virginia Lumber Company. Hey, we've got a location. Ha ha. Let's get some water while we're here. I am a little thirsty, aren't I? Let's grill up that mutant town to meet while we're here. Oh. Every time. They didn't fix that. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Can't believe I passed a luck check to uh, find out what his name was. I guessed right. It's Davey. Meat. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's eat on up. Uh, mutt shops. Um, more mutt shops. Iguana on a stick, sure. Uh, glowing meat stick, oh yeah. Alright, back to the wayward. Oh, 27 caps. Oh, man. You know what? It's cheaper if I just fast travel to Vault 76 and then run down the hill. Weird Man says, hey, Ox, I'm going to skip this stream. Don't want any spoilers. As for me, I'm going to see if I can get a cup of sugar with our new neighbors. Have fun. All right, Weird Man. Well, thanks for stopping by. Actually, I really don't want to run all the way there, so it's still cheaper to fast travel from here. 
All right, back to the wayward. Seven caps. Okay, let's go say hi to Bessie. Open the gate like civilized people. Oh, classic Bessie. <laughs> All right, let's head inside. Hello, Jide. Duchess is damn lucky you showed up when you did. Hope she comped you a drink or two. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Where'd you find that outfit? Not sure you even fit through the door. Bet you can go just about anywhere in that thing. That's power armor. Never could get Duchess to spill on what she did before the war. Got the distinct feeling I wouldn't like the answer. Oh, well, we know what she did before the war. You're welcome to say hi, but try not to spook the cattle. Got enough to do around here without having to run after them. Duchess footed the bill for all of this personally. The finest leftover mobile homes money can buy. Anything you need's inside. Name's G-Day, by the way. Oh, sorry. I, I said Jai, didn't I? No, G-Day. Okay. The wayward welcomes all comers, unless you're planning to break something. Then we've got trouble. Thank you, RJ the Greatest, with the tip. They issue you one of those camp things? Man, vault has got some nifty toys. Holy cow, he has a lot to say. Look at you. Where'd there you find we that go. outfit? Not sure you even fit through the door. Gemma says, 76 cups of tea later, I'm here. Welcome, Gemma, good to have you back. No Name says, Bessie should be a companion. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, I'm back. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Okay. Four options, not yet. I did. Sounds like they're headquartered at the West Virginia Lumber Company. Duchess, bring me your finest flannel. I'm heading to West Virginia Lumber. I had a thought. What if I decided I wanted to work for this gang instead of you? Oh, do we dare? Do we dare? No, I don't want to risk it. Not on my good character. Like, if I was playing a throwaway character, sure, but on, on my main one. Now, let's do the sarcastic uh, option. <laughs> Good to know. Then that's where their boss will be. You need to go... Wait, 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 wait. West Virginia Lumber? Wait, that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company... That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Oh, man. So many options. <clears throat> oh, okay, so we could go in guns blazing, depend upon our luck, or... Talk about the family, talk about the scrapper. Uh, let's talk about the scrapper found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But, listen, I couldn't get him this bill, Hal. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Okay, tell me about the family. You'll find them at Anchor Farm, if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Okay, Anchor Farm, Tyler County Fairgrounds. Well, that's a good thing, because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's, uh, 
let's go to both of them. So Anchor Farm, right there, Tyler County Fairgrounds. Um, I wonder if we can do both, or do we have to choose one? Well, let's try Anchor Farm first. Alaya Ramos says, currently downloading the update. So excited. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I know I'm missing some of these super chats. I'm getting so caught up in the game. Just Game It Out Cast Gaming says, Hey, Ox, finally caught a stream. Love your lore vids. Thank you, my friend. Good to have you on the program. Uh, the, the Hulk says, Smoke a damn blunt for nostalgia, damn it. Well, I... I'm not judging, but I don't do the blunts. I mean, to each zone, these are not blunt. I mean, they're blunt, but they're also hot. Let's run. Ah, mountain in the way. Up we get. Alley up. Oh man, this game is so much smoother. Now, I also did upgrade my graphics card. I was running two 1080 uh, Ti SLI cards when I went through Fallout 76 before, and I recently upgraded to a single uh, 2080 Ti R RTX. Um, so maybe that has something to do with why everything is smoother now. Maybe it's Wastelanders, I don't know, but I just, it feels so much smoother. Chininator says, Oxhorn, I'm following along in the game with you. <laughs> That's great, Chininator. <clears throat> I wonder if you'll beat me. I'm going to go through as many dialogue options as I can. So, Okay, so here's here's the quest er, uh, options we have. Kill the gang leaders or convince the gang leader to leave the, Waylon, the wayward alone. Or question the family at Anchor Farm. Or speak to the scrapper at Tyler County Fairgrounds. All right, we're going to go to Anchor Farm first and then to the Tyler <laughs> County Fairgrounds. Keep running! I miss Pain Train so much. I took it off because it was kind of glitchy, but you know what? Maybe they fixed it in Fallout 76. Can I get Pain Train back? I miss it. Let's do, let's do it. Let's put Pain Train back. What did I exchange it with? I think I exchanged it with one of these handgun or one of these. Yes, get rid of that. Although maybe martial artist? No. Pain Train, I miss you. Oh, it takes up three. Uh, it's worth it. Whatever. Oh, Pain Train, you're back and I love you. Anchor Farm! Oh, it's the one from the loading screen with the big uh, plane outside. Cool. Hello, people. I'm your new neighbor. Hi. <sighs> Thought Appalachia was going to be better than back east. We've been through enough trying to get here, all right? Just leave us in peace. Okay, all right. Well, back east, where did you come from? Shenanator says, it's okay if you go through all the dialogue options. I'll wait. Go at your own pace, my friend. I'll go at mine. Ooh, razor green. All right, let's go. Let's go inside. I bet you that's where they're at. Oh, we've got kids. You, you should go. You'll get me in trouble. She looks just like small Bertha. All right, where's somebody to talk to? Upstairs? Oh, hello there, Daniel. Plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. Are you going to talk with your back to me the entire conversation? Okay, before we dive in, let's find out more about these guys. Um, are you guys new to the area? Just like everyone else. Except we like our privacy. What, are you trying to get rid of me? Trying to let you know you're trespassing. Free to leave whenever you like. Are you all here for the treasure? Treasure? Nothing but trouble. We'd hope to start new lives here. Private ones. So much for that. <laughs> Heard you might have had dealings with the gang up at West Virginia Lumber. 
West Virginia lo- No. Don't know anything about them. Oh, sure. Now, I'd like you to leave. Mmm, that sounded convincing. Oh, wow, we can pass three different checks. Sure, you don't know anything we can say, or we can pass a strength check of three to say, sounds like you know something. I'd love to beat it out of you, unless you want to talk. A charisma check of three to say, we're all friends here. Just tell me what you know, and I'll get out of your hair. Or a perception check of three to say, you sure? Because you started sweating when I mentioned them. I know you know something. Let's pass that charisma check. You'll go. Fine. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you need to know to leave? Tell me about the deal you worked out. Once a month. Food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. Blue Danube. All right. Any idea how many people are in this gang? Plenty. A dozen, minimum. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. Uh, just Game It Out Cast Gaming says, Aox, when, uh, when was thinking about Fallout 4 and the painting of a child? Could that be Santiago's kid from the Far Harbor DLC? Hit me last night while I was playing. Maybe, but it also may just be a reused asset. We also um, uh, found the painting in the Automatron DLC. Any idea where these guys came from? Bunch of cons from back east. They're not crazy, though. Not like the Blood Eagles or the Scorch, say. You can reason with them. They don't know how to farm or hunt. We do. So we worked out a deal. You have something you can offer them, you probably can, too. So the Blood Eagles. Sounds like we've got a brand new, what, like a, a raider faction? Um. Oh, we can blackmail them. I'm going to kill these guys. You can start giving those supplies to me instead. Oh, do we blackmail them? No. I mean, I, I want to know what he says, but I also don't want to, like, do it. Is there karma in Wastelanders? Ah, uh, we'll just... We can always come back and get it later. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. Had some questions about that game. Fine. Make it quick. Okay, we can always come back, it looks like. No other questions then for now. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. Fine, I'm leaving. Bye. Now we get to see your face. Okay, Daniel. Thanks for giving me your rapt attention. Cigarette, bed, pre-war American flag. Kids' rooms. I mean, they got kids. I don't want to steal their food. I'm not a raider. Oh! Agreement with radicals! Hey! Maggie, we all benefit here. We provide you with protection, and you help feed the many, many mouths I have in my camp. You mean you get to take whatever you want and leave us all to starve? It won't come to that. I'll see to it personally. Now, do we have a deal? You can take your deal and shove it. We're not your slaves. If you want our food, you can... <gasps> Herk! Her! Her! Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, Maggie. The rest of us are in agreement. We'll bring you shipments once a season. Once a month. Once a month. I'll deliver it personally. Good. Password to get inside is Blue Dan. Is that a real pit boy? Pleasure doing business with you. You're not gonna hurt us, are you? Daniel killed Maggie! Can we talk with him about it? You? You can beat it. So you killed Maggie. Now I understand why you want me gone. You're murderers. What are you 
Hmm. You found the tape. Fine. I did it. And I'd do it again. Because Maggie was going to get us all killed. She wanted us to stand up to those thugs. To take them on all by ourselves. There are four of us. You know how many times we're outnumbered by that gang? Three to one? Four to one? I have a daughter. And she's alive now because we all were willing to make a deal. Maggie was going to throw that away. Because she didn't like being pushed around. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Oh my god. He has a daughter. Bye. And now his daughter doesn't have a mother because he had to kill Maggie. Although I guess we are just assuming that Maggie was the mother. She kind of sounded like a, a grandmotherly figure. Maybe she was a grandmother. Can we find Maggie's grave outside? Why'd they have to kill Maggie? See if we can find Maggie's grave. Please, please don't hurt us, okay? Where would they have buried Maggie? Oh, a kid's tree fort. And nothing. I don't see a grave. I mean, I haven't frankly looked very thoroughly. But I'm not seeing a grave. Well, we got what we need to continue with the quest, but I am curious as to the Tyler County Fairgrounds option. Now, they wouldn't have buried her in the garden, would they? No. I'm scared for me. Doghouse. I don't know. If any of you find the grave who are watching, let me know in the comments below. Let's see if we can find Maggie's grave. Right. Well, let's go to Tyler County Fairgrounds right up there. We could fast travel there. It's, it's not that far. Uh, Peter says, hi, Ox, watching you from Poland. Love your streams. I'm still waiting for my update to finish downloading. Can't wait to play Wastelanders. Well, I'm, I'm excited that you're excited, my friend. I got really lucky. I've got an awesome internet connection. So as soon as it was available, I got it downloaded in a flash, and uh, which has allowed me to zap on in. It, I, I remember reading that it's about 55 gigs for PC gamers and about 70 gigs if you're on the Xbox or the PS4. So it's a bit of a hefty download, but uh, so far it's worth it. Okay, one is the lumber mill, right? Which one is that? The right one? Yeah. Yeah, that's the lumber mill. That's where we need to go. So we've got Blue Danube. That's the name of the password. Let's uh, find out what the Tyler County fellows have to say. 59 gigs PS4, says BC Venom. Trevor says it's 58 gigs. Okay, cool. Well, that's less than I thought it was going to be. 55 gigs on the Xbox, says High Caliber Gaming. Oh, well, that's great. Well, maybe it's not so bad. Well, not, not as bad as 70 gigs, what I read. <laughs> All right, Tyler County Fairgrounds. We explored this in a previous live stream, but let's see how it's changed with Wastelanders. Oh, no, we're joining an event. Oh, automatic events. Responders, priority alert. Looks like those damn wolves are on the hunt again. Forest Watch has spotted multiple packs, but the Alpha's whereabouts are unknown. I repeat, Alpha's location is unknown. We need to find and kill that alpha wolf ASAP! Take out the smaller packs and draw out that alpha. Just make sure you bring a lot of bullets. That big alpha is a heap of trouble. Oh, we were up here before. Oh, who's shooting at me? Come on. I just want to talk to the NPC. 
Ooh, shotgun shells. It's fine. We're fine. Ouch! Shut up! Hey, I killed it with pain train. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Pain train. I've got my pain train. Who's shooting it? Oh, it's the. Oh, it's another person. Okay. All right, my friend. I'm here for answers. Leibowitz. Hey, get the hell out of. Oh. You're not one of those creeps. Well, you here to rob me? With jokes on you, don't get nothing. We can pass a strength check of four to say I'm sure you'll find something. Head over whatever you got. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I heard you were bragging about being able to run everyone out of West Virginia lumber. Why are you... But let's, let's find out more about him. What's your story, Morning Glory? Me? Come here. I'm a science experiment. Broke out of a government lab, trying to decide whether to use my powers for good or evil. Figured I'd have a drink while I thought. Anything you can tell me about the area? Folks have been doing some building at that track across the way. I, you could try your hand at it. Oh, I'd steer clear of the West Virginia lumber up the road. There were a bunch of ogres or whatever up there, but it sounds like someone might have given them the boot. Not sure it's an improvement. At least you could smell the ogres coming. Why are you hiding out in a place like this? Looking for peace and quiet? Presume those creeps down there would keep everyone else away. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. I heard you were bragging about being able to run everyone out of West Virginia lumber. How? Ah, uh, you talked to the well-done guy, huh? Well, yeah, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Could kill them all, if I wanted to. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. What on earth is going on? <laughs> Mind the locals out there. What on earth? That's very distracting. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, 76 never fails to disappoint. Oh my gosh. Welcome to member HFD14. Can you guys calm down over there? I'm trying to have a conversation. Oh, they're just blowing things up for the heck of it. Oh, I can't interact with him. Wait a minute. Can't one at a time, really? There we go. Back, huh? Well, still got nothing for you to take. Well, you know, like I said, I got a trick up my sleeve. But I'm not giving it away for free. You gotta get me something. What is it you're gonna give me? Government-issued astral transporter. Snagged it on my way out of the lab. Takes your physical form and drops it right into the astral plane. Okay, a stealth Makes you form. nearly invisible. Makes it a whole lot easier to take folks out of this world at the same time. Uh, if you've got something that'll make you invisible, why don't you grab this thing yourself? Makes you invisible, not agile. I can't run so good since I escaped from the government. But I bet you can. And what is it you want? Island nearby has got a big nest in it. Bring me an egg? I'll give you what I got. Oh, a death claw egg? What am I stealing this egg from? Something nasty enough that I don't want to do it. Up to you, though. <laughs> oh, we could pass. You know, it would be a lot less, a lot easier to steal this thing for you if I've got one of those transporters. Oh, I suppose there's some logic to that. Well, here you go. Okay, um, so <laughs> do we still have to go get this egg? I mean, I should probably do it for the lore video, huh? All right. Mind the locals out there. This Leibowitz guy's weird, man. 
Optional, collect an egg for Leibowitz. All right. Deathclaw Island. Fine. Whoa. Oh, it's the leader of the... Whatever. How do I get rid of that? I don't want to track that. Um, side daily event. Yeah. Alright, let's get the Deathclaw egg just so that we can uh, show how it's done. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh man, I love mutations. You survived Quarry Junction, you'll survive this, says Living Man Dog. And this is true. Alright, we're collecting an egg for Leibowitz. It's just about time to eat. I got a little carried away this morning and chopped too much lumber. It's grueling work, so I'd hate for it to go to waste. Does that mean I can have some? Thank you, settler colonist. All right, let's turn off my light. I'm going to be super sneaky in my power armor. All right. Stealing death claw eggs with a shotgun. What's a Deathclaw egg doing in a suitcase? That's it. No Deathclaw hopping up to kill me? I'm slightly disappointed. <laughs> okay. Deathclaw Island and no Deathclaw came up to get me. Okay. Red Bus says there's not a lot of Deathclaws on Deathclaw Island. It's like Iceland in Greenland. Well, true that. If the Scorched or the Ferals don't get you, the Rads will. Yeti Gaming says, I've been waiting about five hours. It's on 75%. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Yeti, Yeti Gaming. But as you can see, once you got it downloaded, it's going to be a lot of fun. Milo says, uh, well, I'm off to work. Have fun, everybody. Will do, Milo. Let's have a good day at work. I hope you got the thing downloading while you're at work so you can enjoy it when you get back. Okay, Leibowitz. Leibowitz is... Whatever his name is, I've got your Deathclaw egg. You can have a nice, tasty Deathclaw omelet. Ah. Oh. Marsupial for the win when I'm out of AP for the jetpack. Okay, here you go. Death Claw Egg. You find me my egg? You said we have an option. You sent me to an island filled with Death Claws. Well, now you understand where I didn't want to go. So you get me my egg or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Well, hello. That is a beauty. When you're hatched, you're going to call me Papa. Yeah, those are mine in the bucket. Make the most of them. Oh, I totally thought he was going to eat it. No. He wants to raise his own death club, baby. <laughs> Ooh, when you're wrong, you're going to call me Papa. Oh, legal wits. Okay, we've got stealth, boys. We've got a password and a number of options. We could rely on our luck to talk our way through. We can use the password to get through. We can kill them all, or we can sneak on through. Well, uh, probably for pro the, the best option for a lore video, I'm betting, is just talking our way through. So we'll probably do that. Trippin' Alpatia with a tip. Thank you. Whoa, what's that? What is that? Oh, what is that? So weak. That's a new enemy. 
That delay always cracks me up. Love the channel, Ox says Yeti Gaming. Thank you, Yeti. I appreciate it. Wow, we got a brand new enemy there. That was nasty. For a minute, I thought like we were being visited by an alien, but now that's a floater. Big old nasty ball of floating pus is what that was. Yuck. All right, West Virginia Lumber Mill is just up the road here. When we were last here, I mean, it was swarming with um, super mutants, and we got in a firefight with the guy when we tried to take over the workshop. <laughs> Fond memories. But let's see what it looks like now. Misty Wolf says, uh, I was Misty Mushrooms. Streaming live at 6 a.m. is a happy surprise at work. I'm also wondering if you would do a small video on the updates so far with 76. Anyways, thanks again for the Far Harbor content. It's my favorite. You're welcome, my friend. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a big update on everything that changed with, uh, with, with Wastelanders. Instead, I think I want to focus on the lore. Am I, am I, is it really that far away? Oh, I'm almost there. It's right there. So what I'll probably do is, um, is lore series on Wastelanders. Uh, when I can, when I get enough footage to do so. Okay, so we've got some raiders up here, no. and <laughs> saving ammunition. All right, there's a brand new raider graffiti on the wall there, and uh, looks like there's the gang leader. I could kill the gang leader or talk to him. Now, I could probably survive the firefight. Wow, look at what they've done to the lumber mill. Holy cow, look at that. They walled it off, shipping containers everywhere, and cleared out all of the super mutants. Hey, that's cool. You're yet to see a Wendigo. New one, says Vladimir. Yeah, I've heard stories of this new Wendigo behemoth. It's a walled city. Look at this thing. Free radical. What is it? I got a, I got a delivery. Lead and lots of it. We can say or, I'm here to talk to your boss. Oh yeah. What's the password? Now the question is, <laughs> will we fail by choosing a? a the wrong password and miss out on our opportunity or or can we just go through butternut squash wait you said password or safe word wow oh i've got to find out what they say here <laughs> nice try now either give me the password or take a hike um blue danube hey or we can pass a luck check to get blue danube go on through Don't do anything stupid, okay? Boss is in the main building. I wouldn't keep him waiting. Wow. So how would they deal with this if I decided I wanted to kill them all? Oh, it's an interior cell. That makes sense. Oh, let's try our luck. No dice. Why is the quest... Is the gang leader not in here? Kill the gang leader or convince the gang leader to leave. Is that the boss says you're all right for now? All right. Well, I don't know. The quest. Oh, it's downstairs. That's what it is. Let's explore first. 
We got a short double barrel shotgun, a sickle. Looking for keys and hollow tapes. Ooh, shotgun ammo. I'll take it. And I'm not getting in trouble. Boss is inside, so feel free to get out of my face. You know what? You can just be quiet now. Boss is downstairs. Let's see what's upstairs. Wow. This is huge. What the hell are you looking at? Calm down, you free radical. Sunglasses. Ooh, blood pack. More shotgun ammo. Oh no, I failed an event that I didn't want to do. Look at this place. Most of us will hold up in the pen back in Maryland. They can't Easy to forget what outside's like. See something you like, Gen Pop? What's a Gen Pop? <laughs> they came from Maryland. Hey, that's cool. So I wonder if most of these uh, people came, f if any of these uh, these people came from the Capital Wasteland. What's a Gen Pop? I like how they're just letting me loot everything and I don't have to kill them. Scattered laser rifle. So this is a low level area. We're not going to get any of the cool new weapons and stuff until we start doing the bigger quests. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, maybe we'll get some good lore. I'll take the water at least. All right, looks like that's it for... Something, tin man. If you're looking for Toto, check the river. Oh, nice, because I'm wearing power armor. I get it. I get it. Thank you. Skiing outfit hat, red paint. Mud chops, fire axe. No notes. Guess we gotta go downstairs. Looted right away. Ooh, a chainsaw. Nice. Can I take the cap stash? Yeah. Don't do anything stupid. We're watching. If you're watching, I just hey, stole your cap. I smell? Wash these clothes like three times. Still think they reek of mutant blood. Why are you calling me Gen Pop? Gen pop people equals general population, says Liam. Oh. Dyside says gen pop means general population, hardly an insult. All right, so it's a free radical raider way of, uh, you know, trying to ostracize me as like an outsider or something. Ooh, we got a mine down here. All right, well, I guess we're going to find the boss down here. No one's heard from Batter. Suspect he finally managed to get himself killed. <laughs> Batter was a long shot anyway. Always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. So Batter was the guy that we killed inside the Wayward. Ooh, glowing fungus. Yep. Got to make that soup. So I'm presuming had I not passed, um, had I not come in with the password, they would be hostile if they saw me. Weapons workbench. Ooh, holotape. The wayward interrogation. Say it again so the mic can hear you. The name. Crane. And where is this crane? I, I saw him. We were at this bar. The Wayward, just north of Flatwoods. And what does he know? He said he was on the trail of this vault. The people kind or the richest kind? The kind that holds stuff. 
The kind that holds stuff. <laughs> I'll consider the topic clarified. You think it's the treasure? I, I don't know. He, he didn't say. Well, seems like that'd be worth finding out, wouldn't it? it yes. Are you afraid of me? Oh, God, yes. Don't be. We're not monsters here. We're pragmatists. You can get off the floor. Are you... You're not going to kill me? Not unless you give me a reason. Do you have a place to go? N no, no. Do you want one? What would you need me to do? Go upstairs. Have a meal and a drink. Share what you know. Maybe it'll jog some memories. From there, we can talk. And if I wanted to leave? We're all free men and women here. A little family. We take care of our own. The rest of the world, be damned. I think I'm starting to piece it together. Treasure. Remember that vault that we read about? Um, in the video I did recently where we had to solve that mystery vault 71, is that what it is? Remember we found that vault in a video that I did recently? I forgot which number it was. But they talked about a treasure there too. These people must be confused. They think vault, uh, uh, vault 76 has the treasure, but it's not the right vault. All right, Roper, let's talk. You the one with the password? Presume someone gave it to you because they thought you could be useful. Name's Roper. Now, explain to me why the hell you're taking up my hair. Alright, we can join the crew or we can have them leave the wayward alone. Let's first ask about them. Just a little band of friends, working together for the common good. Our common good. We call ourselves the Free Radicals, because that's what we are, free. Now, you have any other time wasters you wanted to throw at me? I want you to leave the wayward alone. Is that so? And why exactly would I do that? We can attack, we can say, uh, because I'm a crane, and I know where the treasure is! Or we can pass a strength check of eight to say, because if you don't... I will rip you all limb from limb. Uh, don't know why you care so much, but... Pff, fine. We'll get Crane's treasure ourselves. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Vault 79, the chat says. That's right, Vault 79. <sighs> all this over a little damn bar? Don't know what she's offering you, but it better be a lot. Now that we're friends, um... Can we talk more about the treasure? We'll just find the treasure ourselves, if that's all right. I wonder if we've locked ourselves out of something by intimidating him like this. I mean, if we joined his family, could we have gone together to try and find the treasure? What's the smell? You know what you wanted, all right? Just leave us alone. Note is for reminder. Either something died or someone was buried down here when they were digging this area out. Get Jackie to bring down a dog and sniff it out. Can't stand the stench too much longer. About to hurl. Uh-oh. We also You got heard... what you wanted, all right? Just leave us alone. Yeah, well, I'm going to nose around a little bit. Hope that's not a problem. Um... We heard an NPC talking about the smell, too, so why exactly is everyone so concerned with it stinking? Bobby pins, hey. How much shotgun, shotgun shells. Is there a corpse lying around here somewhere? You're bothering me. Oh, shut up, Jackie. Keep talking. No sudden moves. There's like a corpse down here that's causing the smell, but I don't see disturbed earth or something. Why would they leave that note there, though? 
That note just wouldn't be there. There's a reason for that note being here. Could it be... Mold or something coming from one of these corners? No, I don't know. I'm not seeing a source for the smell. It's probably just murky, you know, just sort of dank. All right. Well, <clears throat> I know they're raiders, but, you know, I'm not going to kill unless I need to. And I don't see this. Maybe it's the brain fungus. I bet you that's it. The brain fungus. We got what we wanted. And we explored the whole thing and we talked with everybody. Hey, wait a minute. What's back here? Anything back here? I can't get back there. There's a magnifying glass back there, but I can't get to it. What, you want to rub it in our faces too? Yeah, actually. I don't know what you said to the boss, but I guess we're leaving you alone. Okay, now there's the entire lumber mill that we need to explore. It's pretty huge. Let's go through it really quickly to see what's changed. <sighs> then we go back to the wayward. Drink Ox says Gemma. Oh, man, you're right. Oh, I'm so bad at remembering to eat and drink with this game. Okay, I'll, I'll drink something. Lucky Babcack with the tip. Thank you, Lucky Babcack. Very kind. Right, food. Uh, I've got berry juice. That sounds good. A carrot soup. Oh, yeah, take care of all that good stuff. Duchess's Dram. Oh, that's the new booze that she gave us. Duchess's Dram. Oh, and she even kissed it with the lipstick. Oh, that's nice. I lose two intelligence, though, if I use that. Hard lemonade. Don't mind if I do. Glowing fungus soup. Yeah, that's going to rehydrate me. Uh, mutt chops. Do I need that? Sure. Oh, all this stuff is spoiled. All right, I'm good. Now, let's see exactly what they've changed here. Oh, someone came by and killed all the raiders. <laughs> oh, well, that's why the, uh, the boss is in an interior cell. Oh, they've got caged people here. Oh, I kind of feel bad about letting them live. Not you or God. Oh, they killed a settler. They killed two settlers. Traps. Let me guess, a raider throne, yep. Cool. Wow. <laughs> Someone came by and killed all the free radicals. All right. Okay, um, let's, ooh, hello. let's explore all these buildings, why not? Psychotats, a new weapon mod, walking cane mod. Ooh, disease cure. All right. 
We've got lots of tents and stuff out here. Oh, they're all dead. Whoa. Is this the building I just explored? Yeah. Got an upper portion that I didn't see. All right, um, I can explore this another time. It looks really cool, but I want to continue with the quest. Oh, they respawn. All right, let's head back and uh, turn in the quest. Cheaper to go to Vault 76 first. And then the wayward. Actually, I want to see what they did to the Overseer's camp. Did it change at all? No. No, it didn't change. All right. Austin says, You're the true treasure of Appalachia, Ox. Your videos got me back into the Fallout universe and reminded me of why I loved it so much in the first place. Here's hoping we get more interloper lore with this update. Well, we do get to learn the cult of the Mothman. But well, we get to we get to see some of their cultists at any rate. I don't know how much lore they've added, but uh, the the patch notes said that the cult of the Mothman is now in App Appalachia. All right, Duchess, job done. You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? Oh yeah. And that worked. Well, remind me not to get on your bad side. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Really? I already did something. So you do know where Crane is? Maybe. My age, memories get unreliable. But I bet you finding my people would help refresh it. Oh, sure. Well... What are you paying? Country caps with your name on them sound about right. Oh, we can pass the charisma check. First, what can you tell me about the folks that have gone missing? Well, missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. <laughs> Um, any idea where they went? Not the foggiest, but that's where the transmitter comes in. Tune to her station and it should get you going in the right direction. Polly's got a transmitter in her? Yeah, a little something I slipped under her exterior plate in case she got carried off. I did mention she's a combat bot, right? A friendly one. I got her reprogrammed when I bought her, so she's not gonna hurt you. Unless they bashed up her combat inhibitor. Well, then, all bets are off. I made the same offer to Saul regarding the tracker under his exterior, but he declined. Go figure. What can you tell me about these things your people were after? 
They're called the Scorched. They're an unpleasant bunch, in character and appearance. They've got raw skin, with crystals sticking out of them. And they're still real handy when it comes to firearms and bludgeons. So you'll want to be careful around them. That's for damn sure. Let's pass that charisma check. Sounds like you like these people. Do you 150 caps like them? Huh. You're not wrong. Okay. It's a deal. So you'll find them for me? All right, I'll find out what happened to your people. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to them. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones. Sounds good. All right, so we're getting an introduction to radio stations. Cool, cool. Hey, Mort, you got anything new to say to me, Mort? Well, let me wait till all of the flashing stuff on the screen goes away. Hello, this is Headmaster Mort. Is that any better? Look, I think I'm getting there. Thanks again for listening to those tapes. Now, what'd you want? No new dialogue. Some other time then. But we've got a new radio station. Transmitter signal. Okay, how does this work? Oh yeah, that was an embarrassing moment. Sorry, scandalous, I know those legs. Look at those thighs. Those are hairless thighs. <laughs> you know, skinny dipping. Used to be a pastime before the war. I was trying it out, you know. Trying it out for size post, post apocalypse. They issue you one of those camp things? Man, vault has got some nifty toys. Thank you, G-Day. Can I, can you please move? So, oh, I see. It puts, uh, it puts something on my map. How, how does, how do I track this? Oh! I one of her drams yet. Wood. So as long as I have the radio tuned, this appears on my map, right? Kellen says, "Lol, I remember that stream." <laughs> we had fun. Ghouls! Slocum Joe! <coughs> Why is my AP not refilling? I must be encumbered now. Who knows I got it? Am I encumbered? No, I'm not encumbered. Why was my AP not refilling? Hmm. All right, let's hope the robot is in one piece. Uh-oh. Whoa! Well, someone killed 
Ooh, Golly Mine production log? What's that? Golly Mine collection period. 418, 1018, iron, coal, uranium. Foreman notation. <coughs> Pardon me. Boss, this hull is miserable. Usable ores slipped below the break even point. We are dried up. Maybe it's time we reached out to the Hornwrights, see if some of their machines couldn't kickstart things. Hmm. Is that new or is that old? No, that's new. Search Golly Mine for Duchess's guards. Uh, so what's the connection? Well, there's the Assaultron arm. It's an entire arm. That looked like a pre-war note. Clearly these Scorched came from Golly Mine, but... I guess what's the connection with her her guards? Like how did her guards get there? How did the Assaultron get there? Alright, well let's go to Golly Mine. Sorry, I gotta relight my cigar. Now, I explored Golly Mine in a previous episode. So I'm just going to casually look around and see if anything has changed. Okay, now we gotta find the guards. Looks like someone has been here. We've got big old ash piles. Ooh, and dead scorched all over. Hey. Well, well, well. Now, where would an Assaultron and some guards be? Hello. You're in charge. Oh, I think this is all just the lore that was already here. Carl, you're in charge while I'm gone. Congratulations. I know this doesn't mean they're paying you more. Looks good on a resume, though. Supply cage is locked up. Code is on the bulletin board. Double check everything before you close up. Some of these guys forget to put stuff back. Right. Bulletin board. That's the bulletin board. We'll find it. I think that was there before. Uh, Alright, so let's just go to what's new. Oh, these are big! That's right. They did, I think they've improved pain, pain train a little bit. And bloody mess, they're a bit more responsive than they used to be. At least that's the way I, it feels to me. Light her up. Okay, gang, the boss wanted me to leave you some instructions. Since you apparently can't run this mine without me holding your hands. We're gonna light this place up today. The holes are drilled, so just get the dynamite packed in and wired up. Make sure everyone's a safe distance this time. Tommy, you do not touch the plungers. Got it? You're the reason we're down two guys this month. Carl, you're in charge. Don't fuck this up. All right. <clears throat> that bit of lore was old. I remember that holotape from a previous live stream. Hey! Uh, over here! Hey! Don't shoot! He's still alive! Uh, people! 
Your people? Hey, Saul! Hey, 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 hey! Tell me you got a stim pack. I'm hurting here. Find your own damn drugs, freeloader. Yeah, I got one for you, buddy. Here you go. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Good to know there's still some heart out there. So, uh, you the cavalry then? Duchess send you to save our tails? Oh, looks like... Okay. Um, if you're Saul, then yes, she did. But if you want help, it's going to cost you. Nope, I'm Santa Claus, and you've been a very naughty boy this year. Tails, I don't fraternize with mutants. Let's do the sarcastic one. Oh, you're a riot, Santa. Listen up, St. Nick. There's someone else who needs some coal in their stocking. Ew. You see, these, uh, scorched things have been herring the bar. Me and my bot sis Polly got the bright idea to track down their nest and clear them out. Bot sis? But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. I heard some fighting, but then, uh, nothing. I think she's hurt. Look, you've got to find Polly. I can't be the reason she... Look, just find her. Please. Okay, I'll find your bot, sis. Uh, hold on. Um, are you going to turn into a Scorched? Oh, huh. Uh, do I execute him? Um, Polly's your bot, sister? What's that mean? It's... Look, when you get Polly back... I'll walk you through every little detail of how I became best friends with the machine. But first, I need you to save her. You think you can do that for me? You're not gonna help me? Go... go in there? I... No, not like this. And the wayward's been left alone for too long. You... I, I know you can do it. You just yeah. have to find Polly. It's your bot, sis, and you want me to go? Um... Are you going to... T let's let's see what happens. I don't think I'll have to kill him, but let's see what happens. Are you going to turn into a Scorched? Close your eyes, I'll make it quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a gunshot victim, not a chew toy. The only thing you need to worry about right now is getting Polly back alive. Don't worry, I'll find your friend. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Once you've got her, just bring her back to the Wayward. I I'll be there. And tell her... Tell her I'm sorry I couldn't be the one to save her. I mean, you could if you came with me, but you won't, because you're a chicken. Alright, well, he's got a gunshot wound, so I guess I shouldn't make fun of him. He's walking fine for a... Oh, that's right, I gave him a stim pack. Okay, makes sense now. Alright, find Polly. <laughs> I get more than I pump in. <gasps> ah! Coming for you, Polly. There she is. Ooh, and she made a mess of the hey. scorched. Hey! Someone there? I can use a lift. Oh, she's just ahead. <laughs> All right, you must be bot sis. You are a sight for sore eye. So, those things didn't get you, huh? You happen to see a young man on your way through? Early 20s, rough around the edges, carrying about a bullet's worth of extra lead in him? Sure did. He's hobbling his way to safety as we speak. He's alive? Thank God. That's good to hear. So, what do you say you and I help each other out? You get me back to the Wayward, 
And I'll help you bake to a crisp anything that bothers us on our way out the door. Um... Bake to a crisp? What do you mean? Never met an Assaultron before, huh? Probably for the best. That flashy red pearl in the middle of my face doesn't just complement my scintillating personality. It also happens to fire a multi-gigawatt laser. You pick me up, and give my next servos a twirl, I'll kick off a blast that would make Oppenheimer quote scripture. So, we blowing <laughs> this gin joint? <laughs> what happened to you? One too many of those crystalline creeps. I'll give them this. They may be hideous, stupid, ugly, bad-smelling, poorly dressed, tactically backwards, and overly forward with a lady. Ew. But they are fearless. Enough of them rushed me at once that it severed my neck bracing. And so the curtain rises on my current predicament. Now, are you gonna help me out? She's giving me Cleo vibes. Um, and are you gonna pay me for getting you out of here? I won't, but you can bet our good lady Duchess back at the Wayward will. Okay. That's the ticket. Now, let's... You hear that? Sounds like those things have regrouped. How about we make them regret it? Come on, darling. Let's make sure these things never bother the Wayward again. Yeah, just don't call me darling. Press R to load a charge into Polly's head. Okay. That was a fun experiment, but uh, no. Where'd you go? Get back here! Whew! Alright! They got me good, though! <laughs> well, I was fiddling around with that dog on a Sultron head thing. Alright, how do I get out of here now? Uh... Ah! Oh, more of you, bugger. <laughs> Instance progress checkpointed, okay. This part of Gully Mine feels different. Maybe it's just been so long since I've been here that I don't remember. Ooh, end of dungeon, steamer trunk. Oh yeah. Oh, plas oh a Gatling plasma. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't need it. It'll just bog me down. Oh man, but it's so cool. Oh, no, I'm, now I'm encumbered. Gatling plasma. Where is it? Oh, that's <laughs> such a cool weapon. But yeah, it's. I'm gonna have to scrap it when I get back to camp. It's just too big. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that I don't have to zone out to fast travel. Damn. Ammo finally corroded. Wet Cave really did a number on it. I'm not going to be much help now. Oh, so we leave and we, we can no longer use it? Okay. Her ammo corroded. 
that that makes sense, I guess. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, now we need to get back to way down here, right? The wayward. Oh, for Pete's sake! Dog on Gatling plasma. Gonna drop it. There we go. Polly wasn't much help in the first place, says Chi uh, D. That's right, she wasn't. There we go. Don't mind me. Just Go making sure this place doesn't fall to pieces. And you keep blocking the entrance here. Could you please move, G Day? Just move. Oh my gosh. Well, we wanted NPCs. <laughs> we got them. And everything that goes along with them. <laughs> oh, and I'm thirsty again. Oh, I should have picked up some purified water when I was at camp. Wait, I did! Yay! Hey, Saul's back. Back at long last. But where's our girl? Did you find Polly? Give those degenerates hell. I did. All right. Half the gang reunited. Just have to find our gal, and we'll be all set. Uh, do I have to have her equipped? Oh, God. Polly? Whoa. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why, why don't you sit her down? Um, Jug should do the trick. <laughs> okay. This is real snug. <laughs> That's not going to do at all. Oh, Polly. This is all my fault. Solomon, no. Don't you dare. This is not... Uh, Duchess, tell me you emptied this out. Did I? You know, I'm 80%. Duchess? It's all right. I can fix this. There's a robotics shop over in Somersville that... Oh. Oh, oh. Solomon, you're going nowhere. Look, I'm sorry to even ask, but is there any chance you might be able to help us out here? Look at I Solomon. I can make it worth your while. <laughs> Find Polly this new body. I'll tell you everything I know about Crane and his treasure. Please say yes. Um... Have you actually known where the treasure is this whole time? What are we doing here? Honey, it's complicated. But I promise. I will walk you through every... gory detail if you do this for us. Okay, so for those watching the replay, I'm, I'm uh, holding off here for a minute because YouTube just crapped out on me. I need to tell the chat that I'm still here. So YouTube has been doing this uh, periodically during my live streams uh, ever since they've started. They're getting ready to release a new studio, and I think it has something to do with it. So even though I'm live on Mixer, and I'm live on Facebook, and I'm live on uh, Twitter, Periscope, um, for some reason, even though I'm using the exact same stream in Jest, YouTube freaks out like this. So I'm just pausing on the dialogue so that those in the chat who are waiting for my stream to kick back up don't miss anything. So just hang tight. Hang tight. I 
I'm communicating with chat right now, which can't see me. You see me now? It's back? Yay, it's back, it's back. Okay, yeah, it, it, it takes them a bit. Uh, it takes them a bit. But um, they usually get it back. So let's get back to the game. Uh, now, since uh, we had a hiccup during the last dialogue check, let's listen to it again. Or the, the last dialogue option. Wait, I can't do it again? Honey, it's complicated. But I promise. I will walk you through every... gory detail if you do this for us. Where can I find Polly a new body? Solomon, you had a spot in mind? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's this... Old robotics dealer over in Summersville. Uh, Duncan and Duncan. The, uh, the owners boarded it up, but it's possible to get back there if, if you know where to push. You expect me to lug an entire Assaultron back here? Oh, don't you worry there. Saul, you still got one of those trackers? Uh, uh-huh. You tag the body with Saul's tracker here, I'll have my people collect it. Once it's safe. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. The only people she has here are Mort and Saul. The reason I'm going is because Saul can't go. But I'm going to put a tracker on it so she can then send her people later? Okay. Uh, sure. I'll track it down. You are a lifesaver. Here, the tracker. Just plant that on Polly's new frame, and we'll handle it from there. And here... You'll need this to get into the place. Just leave it unlocked so we can come and get the body later. And make sure it's pristine. No damage, no reprogramming. Factory defaults only. I don't want anything going wrong in the transfer. Okay. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, thank you. We'll all owe you big after this. Yes, you will. Maybe you can tell me about that treasure when the time comes. Ashley says, loving the stream. Ox kicked me, but I joined back. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why. I'm taking a look at my traffic, and there was a tiny blip there, but uh, most uh, mostly everyone's back now. Okay. Am I running low on fusion cores? Yeah, I'm, I've got one fusion core left, but it's at full charge, so I think I should be okay for now. Uh, well, let's take a look at our quest here. Strength in numbers. I need to go... To a brand new place in Summersville. Let's see where that is on the map. All the way up here. We've been here before, so we can fast travel. Hooray! And while I'm fast traveling, I'm going to light up a brand new cigar. There we go. Sunny Somerville. So we're looking for, what, a brand new robot and electronics shop in Somersville. Easy enough, right? Ooh, hey, that's new graffiti on a, on a ruined building here. That wasn't there in the base game. What does that mean? Is that Raider graffiti or could it be... Mothman graffiti? I mean, there's nothing here. It's just a little old pre-war polling station. And we're on the roof. Okay. I wonder what that graffiti is for. Hmm. Hey, we've got still a settler. Alive. How am I still alive? Hi. I am your god now. Wow. Okay. Too many crickets. <laughs> Uh, 
I am your god now. Wow. Well, now we understand. That's nah, a Gatling plasma. Looking good. I forget how to win. He's tearing up the place with the Gatling Plasma. That's <laughs> just having a blast. Oh, I love it. Oh, wow. Nice shot, Eagle Eye. All right, so this is it. Duncan and Duncan Robotics. Uh, how do I get it? Oh, okay. My name says Todd Howard sure loves his wind chimes. Well, we do find quite a few wind chimes in the world. Um, now let's see. Did they give me a hollow tape or anything? Notes. Hollow tape. I thought of someone that said Duncan and Duncan something. We were not. All right. Oh, that's right. That's what they gave me. <clears throat> DD Robotics, Duncan and Duncan. Hey, oh, untouched by the war. Look at this. We get to explore a beautiful place. Hey, there's a robot. Ooh, we got some uh, impressionist art, I guess. Hi, bots. Good old Sputnik. Mr. Gutsy on display. Hey, locked door. So Summersville is now a raider town. Whoa. Oh. Don't think I want to know what happens if I, um... Oh, that's going to be tricky. The ones in the back that are hard. No, I did not trip the trigger. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. That was totally unfair. I didn't trip any of the lasers. Oh, not even right. Warning, hostiles in area. Whoops. Protectron model. Dangerous fugitive is on the loose. Do not, not sure. attempt to apprehend. Am I doing this whole encounter wrong by by opening that door first? Should I have gone through and talked with everybody first? Did I miss out on a dialogue option? I hope not. go around now. My gun is down. I'm a nice guy. Nice guy walking. Nice guy. Hello, Skinner. Oh. Well, now. What do we have here? Are you another ghost? I cannot bring you the peace you require, spirit. Leave me be. Another ghost? Wait, does that mean that he's found a ghost? before. I'm a customer, not a ghost. Got a couple screws loose, eh, pal? Silence! I am the ghost of Appalachia Future, and I have a demand! Hmm. So I thought. 
No need to put on airs with me. I understand your plight, spirit. My name's Skinner, and I am trapped in here, much like you are trapped in undeath. Now, <laughs> what do you require to leave me alone? Um, I need a pristine Soltron body. Is that something you carry here? Trapped? You aren't able to leave? It should be open now. This spirit requires a host and a Soltron body! Well, spirit, unfortunately, Soltrons are military-grade hardware. As such, all of our machines have already been spoken for. Outstanding deal with the United States military just waiting for pickup. You understand. Oh, cool. So I'm a U.S. general due to the main quest, and I can pass this check that says the Soltrons are for the military, eh? General Oxhorn, at your service. I'm here to collect set of, set of Soltron. So in the, uh, during the course, of the course of the primary quest of Fallout 76, we become a U.S. military general. That's why we have that check. Or we can pass a strength check of four to say you're going to give me that body or else. Or how dare you? I am the ghost of Duncan himself. You will give me this robot. Come on, you're a businessman. I'm a businessman. How much do you want? Any other pristine frames you got for sale? Or I've got to go. Ooh. Let's pass the general check. Oh, I wish you'd said so sooner. Deepest apologies, general. Here you are. The frame's upstairs. Protect and serve. Sweet. Please purchase Duncan and Duncan 1. Yes, spirit? What is it now? <laughs> How dare you! I am the ghost of Duncan himself! You will give me this robot! You? You're a Duncan? Hmm. I perhaps see some distant resemblance, spirit. But, Mr. Duncan, why, they'd tan my hide if I gave away an Assaultron. Here, you may take the Protectron. You can find it in the adjacent room. It was slated for one of the lesser clans in the region. The Garahans, or some such. Mr. Duncan, I'm sure, would be thrilled to keep it in the family. Okay. Um. Any other pristine frames you've got for sale? Uh, not for purchase, no. The mint condition Protectron and handy bodies we have on the premises have been spoken for <laughs> and our resupplier is already desperately late with our latest shipment i do hope you understand spoken for by whom more spirits come on you're a business businessman i'm a businessman how much do you want i'm sorry but i simply cannot the price of such a machine even before its noted uptick in demand was in millions of dollars I've got news for you. No one uses dollars anymore. People use caps. Bottle caps? Actual trash? Hmm. Then it's likely safe to presume the amount you'd need to offer is in the mid ten figures. Uh... That's it. By all means. Okay, now I can open this one without picking it. Right? Now, what do I do with this? Investigate body. This body seems to be in pristine condition. You could attach the transmitter to it, though you're not sure how Polly would react to getting this body. We could do nothing or attach it. So do we want to give her a Protectron body? Probably not. Let's go upstairs and let's give her a an Assaultron body because that's probably what's going to make her happiest. After all, I had to pass the general check to get that option. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I must thank you for your service. Thank you. <laughs> As a general, I appreciate that. Excuse me. Entrance into the showroom is for customers only. You gave me the key. What are you freaking out about?
Oh, more laser trip wires. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, and they're finicky. All right, I don't dare go through until I've gotten every single one. Where is it? Oh, come on, you finicky thing. Where is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> that one corner. Okay. Almost done. Bingo! Okay, so we could give her a Mr. Handybody. <laughs> what is the even fuck? Oh. What is the point? If I just what even after what's the point of disarming the tripwires? Jamity <laughs> crackheads. All right, pristine Mr. Handy body. This body seems to be in pristine condition. You could attach the transmitter, though you're not sure how Polly would react. We'll do nothing. Fine. Gosh, you're just making me mad now, game. I got it. Ooh. Whoa. That leads up to the attic, I guess. So this was the Duncan and Duncan office. Oh! Oh, scary clowns. Oh, why the scary clowns? I don't like it. I don't like the scary clowns. That's a, uh, that's a, I think he wants to give me a balloon, maybe. Oh. Oh! Read between the lines, James. I changed the code to the Assaultron showroom, James. Eight. You have to make sure, make your sale some other way, eight. I've already given you the code eight. You don't need me eight, but as you've shown, traipsing around with those goons eight, you never have eight read between the lines, James, I have. I changed the code to the Assaultron showroom, James, eight. You have to make sure your sale some other way, eight. It, it just repeats itself, what? What the heck? It's the same thing over and over again. Holy cow! These Duncan guys are nuts, man. Vladimir says trigger, not disarm. When your home defense, where's your home defense perk? When I disarmed all of the lasers, man. I, I disarmed them all, Vladimir. Okay, what was that note all about? Eight, 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 lots of eights. There's another one. Oh, two clowns. Eight, eight. What? Eight. Eight, eight. There's a lot of eights. Why the eights? Eights. Is there, is there an eight here? Can I interact with them? I can't. There's an, there's an eight on the birdhouse too. Eight, 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 eight. That's a lot of eights. No laser trip wires. HH3 capacitor. Hazmat suit. Okay, so I could. That's a pristine, uh, pristine assaultron body. 
But let's see what's upstairs first. Let's finish exploring everything before we go up. Mega Sloth Pelt. <clears throat> Wait, this place hasn't been opened since before the war. So what? what's a Mega Sloth Pelt doing here? Does it make sense? Dog tags, 45 rounds. Another hole in the wall. Ooh. Whoa, where does this go? Doesn't go anywhere. Okay, before I attach it to the body, let's go upstairs. Oh, this one's lo locked. Skill level three lock. Oh, come on. Oh, I could have jumped up here. Corian says it's not about the number eight, it's about the symmetry. Notice how the room was organized. The Sultron showroom key. Terminal. Turret control. Uh. Crosmar says it says disarm when you disarm and trigger to activate. When to trigger both, it gets gone. You need home defense perk to disarm laser traps. Oh, really? Oh, it's, it doesn't work like. Wow, that's bright. Golly. Okay, um, let's check out that room symmetry. I mean, yeah, look at that. They've even got pictures in the same spot, telephones in the same spot, papers in the same spot. They were each drinking bourbon and sharing cigars from a cigar box. So they must have had pets too, like cats. They each had a cat. Golf, golf, moonshine, moonshine. Oh, they're twins. Clown, clown, eight, 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 eight. Let's go upstairs. Are we gonna find the ghost of Duncan and Duncan? Hello. Negotiations. Oh, you've truly done it this time, Jonathan. This numeric obsession of yours will be our ruin. You've reminded me multiple times it's the only house in the city with that number. But leveraging our only... You... what? Oh, don't be a... Fine. Skinner! I yes, Mr. Duncan. Oh, my brother refuses to continue our discussion without his evening tea. Because he is a petulant child. Do fetch him some so we can be done with this. Mr. Duncan, I hardly mean to be rude, but where exactly would you like me to bring this tea? To my brother, you imbecile. Your brother? At the cemetery? What on earth are you talking about? Go downstairs, make his tea bring it to the desk directly in front of you where he is seated. Uh, sir, there's no one there. Well, uh, you, you don't see him? No, sir. Well, that simply won't do. Skinner, fetch my toolkit. You're clearly malfunctioning. Very well, uh, sir. <laughs> Oh, Duncan's brother died, uh, and he couldn't deal with it. Well, apologies, Mr. Duncan. Mr. Duncan, I've given a strong uh, dressing down to the men involved in the altercation. I'm terribly sorry about them attempting to serve you. The summons meant for your twin and 
duly hope you can understand the mix-up. Unfortunately, the other Mr. Duncan continues to elude us. <clears throat> Are you sure he's not residing at a different address? Can you at least confirm I have this correct? 88888 Wachesky Street. Charleston. It also seems he's been avoiding your mutual place of business since the lockout occurred. Though the men I've had stationed in the neighborhood are having some trouble differentiating you two, as you've well seen. Is there any chance you might be willing to don a small item by which they can differentiate you two? Uh, a lapel pin or a rose in your jacket pocket? We at Gramercy and Ulster appreciate your patience in this matter. It is our sincere hope to have your brother found and access restored to your showroom in no time. Sincerely, William Ryan Gramercy Esquire. Nice Dragon says not everything was symmetrical. One of the pictures was wrong. Oh, is that right? Well, we'll have to check it out in just a second. So does this mean we need to go to Charleston to find 88888 Wachowski Street? That leads us right on top of the Assaultron. Okay. So nothing else up in the attic. Okay, one of the pictures was, was wrong, you said. There's only, there's only two pictures. Clown one, clown two. Ah! Watch key? Eight, 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 watch key? Why is everybody saying watch key? Ox, it's watch key street. What did I say? Watch key street. Okay, so we've got clown, picture, clown. They are symmetrical. They're all symmetrical. And I can't interact with any of them. All right, let's do what we came here for. There's the, there's the Assaultron. Look down at the desk picks, the compass. Right, I know that one got knocked over. It's just a loot item, guys. It's just one knocked over desk picture. Attaching the transmitter to this body means Polly gets the same frame she's used to. Here we go. Take the key from desk. What key? Watch key? What are you guys talking about? On the desk, yeah. All right, I'm going to loot everything on this desk. There's nothing left on this desk. <clears throat> Where's Lucky Vault 13 Canteen when you need one, says no name, yeah. Golf tee, liquor decanter, there's no key. Watch key, 8888. Eight, eight, eight. 
The watch is the key. The clock is the key. What? You guys are going off the deep end here. I don't think that has anything to do with this. <clears throat> it was an address. The 8888 is an address to Charleston. So maybe there's going to be a new spot inside Charleston. Okay, down we go. Did we unlock any more dialogue with this guy? Ooh. If I encounter any damage in those showrooms, you should expect a bill. The Duncan line is an ancient and proud one. Why, there's been a Duncan in this great nation ever since the 1980s. But I'm sure you already knew that. I heard some screaming outside the window. Do the ghosts rule the outside world as well now? General, I do hope you'll accept my apologies about the mix-up. It's so hard to tell rank these days. <clears throat> Keith says they are saying you keep pronouncing Watchkey Street, uh, Street as Wachesky Street. Okay, Watchkey Street. Fine, I, I pronounced it wrong. Um, all right. We did it. Let's go. Now, Charleston, that's going to be over here. Do we go traipsing around the town trying to find Watchkey Street? Maybe later. Oh, that guy. Oh. Was there a weapons workbench here anywhere? Let me scrap some of this stuff. I looted all the stuff on that desk. Give me one workbench. A tinkerer's workbench. Anything. Yeah. One over here. No. I'm just gonna have to drop some junk, aren't I? I mean, I don't need any of the junk. Maybe this one in the other showroom. Nope. All right, let's just jump. Yeah, dump some. I have, that's a lot of aluminum. Why am I carrying that much aluminum? That's not very heavy though. Scar box. And these coffee cups are heavier than aluminum. Combination wrench. Oh, that's a, that's a heavy hubcap. I should be good. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Back to the wayward. Why? I do... I wonder why it made me do a countdown. There was no enemy here. Filbert says, ox eat, my friend. Okay, I can do that. All right, let's eat something. What have I got? Oh, I don't want to eat my perfectly preserved pie. Do I have any food food? Salisbury steak. Uh, squirrel on a stick. There we go. Let's say hi to Bessie. That's all she says. Just moo.
Try to find that street, says Mandy. I am curious. 88888. Watch hey, the street. You got one. Signals coming through loud and clear. You know, I don't throw the word hero around a lot. Come over here and let's discuss, huh? I'm talking to you? Okay. I can be your hero, baby. No. I presume you found something that'll work for someone with my natural charm and gravitas? Uh, your body is a jug of moonshine. You'll take what I got you. <laughs> you know, you make a strong argument. I believe I can agree to your terms. I also know you didn't have to stick your neck out for me. I appreciate it. Truly. It's true. You've worked real hard putting things right for us. None of us are going to forget what you've done. But that really just leaves one last topic for us to discuss. Doesn't it? Crane. Yes. Crane. You ready to listen? I'm just warning you, I can't guarantee you're going to be happy with what I'm about to say. <clears throat> uh, I'm ready, it's about to end time. Wait, this treasure is real, right? Yes. At least, well... It's better I walk you through the whole thing at once. You ready to hear it? I'm ready. All right, then. Follow me. Ooh, is so, she gonna... I've known where Crane is. I know where his treasure is. But, well, there's a problem. It's in the vault. Is she gonna open up the locked door? Yeah! Ooh, what's in there? Oh! Honey? You awake? Huh. You wanna give him a little nudge? He's a scorched! Boy! 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 Boy is key! Boy is key! <sighs> That's all he says anymore. Boy is key. Oh, Jesus, and... Duchess. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing is Crane, Solomon. And what exactly would you have liked me to do with him? Put it out of its misery. Those things are killers, Duchess. Polly and I have the scars to prove it. I don't recall yielding the floor to debate here. You agree with me, don't you? <clears throat> uh, well... <laughs> I do. There's still a person in there. No, those things are monsters. Only merciful thing to do is to put it out of its misery. It doesn't really matter. Person or no, they're dangerous. Keeping him here is asking for trouble. But look at how defenseless it is. How could you not shoot that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Is there a way he can be cured? Why on earth is he that in here? Uh, is there a way he can be cured? I, well, look. I may not have all the information here, but all I've heard is, well, no, once the infection's this far gone. Then so is the person inside. I, I know. You, you're right. I just, I couldn't. Goodbye, Crane. Please. Just just make it quick. Of course. Unless you want to take care of it. <laughs> um, but what if there's a cure? And who knows how long that'll take? We just wait around for this thing to get loose in the hopes that someone out there finds it? No. I'm sorry, but Crane's gone. The only decision to make here is are you doing it? Or am I? Mac West says, Morning Ox, is it any good? So far, so good. You do it, Saul. <sighs> All right. Sorry, pal. Robco Experimental Cast. Take a moment? Of course not, Duchess. <sighs> hmm. 
<sighs> Loot. <sighs> Loot. Thank you. <sighs> now, Crane had a map and an access card he kept on him. You want to grab those, doll? Yeah. Loot. Hey! Entrance. X, X, X. Cage code. 07. 1990. Deeper. What? According to that map, the treasure is in some kind of special cache tucked away inside Golly Mine, sealed away behind a keycard locked door. Hmm. Golly Mine? That's where Polly and I tracked the Scorched. Son of a... Does that... Did Crane lure those damn things here when he found the cache? Suppose we don't need to feel so bad anymore. Solomon, too damn soon. Sorry. Now, this cache. I tried to check it out myself, but I didn't get real far. You're already intimately acquainted with Gawley, so I suspect you've got the best shot at actually laying hands on whatever's in there. So, here are my terms. I will let you keep said map and access card. No strings attached. As payment for everything you've done for us. But I need your word you'll come back and buy a drink every now and then. <laughs> Is that all? I think I can do that. Why don't we split the treasure? Honey, I'll take it in tips. Now, there anything else you want to discuss before heading out? Um, any clue what boy is key means? Did Crane have kids? No idea, sweetheart. He was only ever here alone. If he did have kids, well, they're long gone. Do you need to talk? Like, about Crane? I'll be fine. This... this is just the world we got now. A lesson I keep seeming to forget. Lucky for me, I just happen to have access to a variety of mind-altering substances. So, I'll bounce back. But thank you for asking. How'd you know Crane had the map and card on him? Maybe I have great vision. Maybe he wore shirts with too many buttons undone. Maybe you don't need an answer to that question. Oh. You got what you needed. What say you let a lady maintain her air of mystery? Right. Well, based on how hard it was for her to let Crane go, I think we understand exactly how she knew what was on his inventory. I think I'm good. Wish me luck. Good luck. Everyone in the chat is saying Pip-Boy. Is that what he meant by boy is key? Pip-Boy is key to vault, to the vault. Oh, is that what he meant? Oh, clever. The chat is on top of this one. No name says new member emoji idea loot. <laughs> Maybe. All right, find Crane's treasure. Really? I got to go back to Golly Mine? Yo. Oh. All right. Back to Golly Mine. Boy is key. Pip boy is key. Pip boy is watch. I think let's just leave the watch thing alone, guys. Okay, let's find this treasure. Treasure. Face cam ox, says Travis. Well, I need to record this footage for lore videos. So no face cam. Sorry. Okay, where's that map? Note, crane map. Entrance. Deeper. X, X, X. Cage code 07 1990. Cage code 07 1990. I think I know where that is. Really? Okay, that's where we came from earlier. Oh! 
And then this is a dead end, right? Or is this the deeper? Hello. I mean, it is pointing us up that way. No, that's right. It is a dead end. Dead end. That's where we found the end of dungeon steamer trunk. So we need to go down. None down here. Alright. Guess I'll just follow the quest marker. Ah! Ha ha ha! Oh, seven, nineteen, ninety. Big red button. Hello, this is new. Ooh. Robco Auto Cash. Robco? What is, what's a Robco auto catch doing inside a mine? Let's find out. We've got ourselves a Robco facility. Robco staff only. Your presence has been logged by Robco security. That's barred from the other side. Looks like we've got to go deeper. All right, brand new dungeon to explore inside Golly Mine. On mole rats. No, that's an ant. Where are you taking me, ant? Hmm. Any hollow tapes, keys, key cards, chests? Big ol' refuse pile here. And of course, toxic waste. Pre-war government did like to bury this stuff in mines and quarries. Hey. Three easy steps to access the Robco Auto Cash. Step one, register your pip boy. Hey, boy is key. Register your pip boy at the nearest system registration terminal. Step two, stand inside the auto cash scanner detection radius. Step three, raise your registered pip boy towards the auto cash scanner. A repository as smart as you. The insert final name. <clears throat> Any dolt can build a vault. You want a repository as smart as you. Robco's patented technology grants you access to your personal insert final name at a whim. Let your Robco Pip Boy 2000 be your key. Access anytime. Order yours today. Coming. Insert date. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So wait. A, so Robco was trying to compete with Vault Tech for the personal Fallout Shelter in, in the personal Fallout Shelter space. Why then would Rob would Vault Tech be using Robco Pip Boys? If they were competing in the same marketplace, you'd think, ooh, Mintance.
Okay, uh, so we need to scan our pit boy first. Step one. Wait, what does this do? Hello. Robco staff only. Key. Ooh. Cash control room key. Robco. System registration terminal. Hey. Okay, looks like I need to go that way. Let's hack it. F A L L. Bingo. George, House is shutting down the AutoCash project. Please wipe this before they seal the place. I hope you're happy. Okay, so House canceled the, the project. Welcome as a chair, register Pip Boy device, tour guide walkthrough. Uh, 10 steps to sales. One, prior to customer arrival, register your Pip Boy with this terminal using selection on previous screen. Do this first. It's the only way to shut off the security legal or security. Legal will skin us if we turn in more injury forms, and then that's more injury forms. Okay. Two, approach the customer with a friendly but firm handshake. Three, lead the customer to the entrance and run through the included Robco Auto Cash introduction script. Four, position yourself inside the scan ring in front of the cash entrance. Five, present registered Pip Boy toward the patented Robco Easy Access Eye. Just have them stand still inside the ring. It's not rocket science, K. Six, proceed inside the cache. Seven, run through the included auto cache tour script. Eight, proceed to Robco Mega Dispenser. Nine, give customer a dispenser token and request they deposit it in the slot in of their choice. We've only got one token. Left it on the podium in the showroom. Do not lose it. K. 10. Escort the customer out with their very own keepsake while reciting the Robco Cash custom customizability script. House will take any reason to shutter us. Wants the resources for something personal. Ooh. This tour needs to sparkle, George. Left some sparkle under the desk. Don't mess this up, K. So he wanted the resources for this particular project for something personal. It's his vault! His vault! At Fortification Hill. That's what he wanted the resources for. His own personal vault. Ah! He, they tied it into New Vegas. I love it. Register Pip Boy. Pip Boy. Detected. Registration. Complete. Countermeasures. Disabled. You may now present Pip Boy at access point. Under the desk. Under what desk? Under the desk. Under the desk. Under what desk? We need to find a podium and a desk under the desk. I don't see anything under this desk. Or that desk. Huh. Maybe it's another desk down here. Hello. So that goes down. Fine. Where does this go? This goes back the way we came. Oh, and then that wraps around. Here's the desk. And that's a table. Hmm. And that's still barred from the other side. Okay. Well. Down we go then. The Mentats! Oh, the Mentats! Oh, I already got them! Thank you guys for making the connection for me. But now we still have to find a podium, right? Lots of cups! They were drinking something. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> Valid pit boy detected. Access granted. Welcome, prospective Robco customer.
Waste handling, refreshments on demand, cream, vodka, juice, beer, wine. This is the cash? It was just food and stuff? What? Refreshments. Waste handling, okay. Nuclear waste or solid waste? Fuel, rat poison, they've got everything here. Robco, at your service. Economic security, yeah. <laughs> that didn't work too well for them. <laughs> they didn't predict the cap, did they? All right, so that leads us back out. Ooh, ammo. Uh, nothing. What's up here? Oh! Podium! Token. Mega Dispenser Test Token. Coin slot energy weapon, coin slot shotgun, coin slot rifle. Oh, I got to pick pistol, unarmed, two-handed melee, one-handed melee. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, if I choose energy weapon, it could be any energy weapon, but I only want a rifle energy weapon. I could take a shotgun, a gauss shotgun. I want a gauss shotgun. Oh, I'm going shotgun. Do you wish to insert the token? Yes. A pump action shotgun. Come on. Uh, legendary pump action shotgun. I wanted a gauss shotgun. That got it. Suppressed pump action shotgun. It's got two legendary effects, though. Reduces your target damage by 20% uh, for three seconds, 25% faster fire rate. A suppressor's pump action shotgun. Man, it's so disappointing. What's the one I've got right now? It's already a two star. Double damage if target is at full health. Vats critical shots do 50% more damage. Well, I mean, are we going to be able to farm these tokens? Can we get more tokens in the future? If so, can we get another cool legendary weapon? Huh. Keep your eyes out for more tokens, Zox, says Smothex. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find ways to earn more, and then we can come back here to get more cool stuff. At any rate, I can take it to the purveyor. Well, there we go. That's the treasure. Relivable HVAC. Re reliable HVAC. Oh, I see. And of course, they've got sugar bombs here. Fresh food. Everything you need to survive the apocalypse. Add food here. George, we're working with preserved stuffs here, so it needs to be stacked meticulously. Think window display at Gray and Ghouls. Food's cheap, get as much as we can afford, and build from there. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, this vault uh, doesn't really look quite as impressive as a Vault-Tec vault. <laughs> It's just a bunker. 
I can see why House wanted to end um, funding for this particular project. What's this? Treasury bonds. The insert final name, like your investment safe, then secure your future with an insert final name system. Built to order, each insert final name is the perfect balance of security, convenience, and frugality. Access any time of the day or night without meddlesome and high-maintenance human guards. Order yours today. Coming insert date. Data storage. <laughs> Treasury bonds 100. Here we go. It's the same thing. It's the same note. There's another one. Wow, so they just found a supply room inside a mine and we're trying to sell it as a vault. Add crates here. George, fill this area with the fanciest crates we can afford. Something that looks like a Hornwright store would their jewels in it. Should scream, I have enough money, I need to hide it from my employees. Well, they were really trying hard to keep this program alive. Personal security. All right, 10 millimeter pistol and a 44. Add weapons here. George, weapons section. Nothing too fancy here. Protesters, scarers. Okay. Oh man, I'm bummed I didn't get a Gauss shotgun. That would have been really cool. Though Gauss rifle ammunition is expensive, although I can craft it and it's easy and cheap to craft. Okay. Any more tokens lying around for me? Any other tokens? You need those friend game currency. Look at Crane's map. Uh, okay. Yeah, that... The map doesn't do anything. I mean, he never got inside, right? All the, all the map does is bring us here, but Crane never got inside. So it's not going to help us pass this, past that point. Any more tokens lying around? Ballpoint pens and clipboards. That's about it. Nope. All right. Baseball grenade. They really thought of everything. <clears throat> okay. That's it. I think we got it all. Well, cool. So, in the future, we're going to be able to get more of these tokens somehow to get more legendary weapons. I like it. Vladimir says, Ox, you'll need to do a lot of work for the Gauss shotgun. It's not like it'll drop uh, on you half, uh, drop on you after an hour of playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right. I know you're right, but a guy can hope. Wait, I can fast travel inside. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Back to the wayward. Eric says, where's your face cam? Right here, my friend. I'm here smoking my cigar as usual, but I want to be able to use this footage for lore videos in the future, so I'm not putting the face cam there. Okay, speak to Duchess. Oh, you okay there, Bessie? Oh no, Bessie killed the other cow. Bessie killed the other problem. What
Don't blow up on me now, Bessie. Goodness. Oh, you better not stand in my way, G-Day. Thank you. So you flush with calves now? I'm sure Duchess will be happy to take them off your hands. Maybe for booze. All right, Duchess. I found the secret of the treasure. The intrepid explorer returns. Extra layer of dust makes me think you might have actually succeeded. Time to spill. What'd you find? Place was largely empty, but I at least got a pretty decent weapon out of the deal. It was a decades old weapon and a bunch of garbage. I feel like you owe me. Place was picked clean. Someone else must have gotten there first. I opened a gate to, to another time. What year is this? <laughs> Fine. Don't tell me then. I'll just presume you got a big payday. Wish there was more I could contribute to it. Honestly. What I will do is foot you a discount. You'll never pay full price here while I'm still above the ground. Really, it's about the least I could do at this point. Honestly, thank you. We're on our feet now because of you. You take care of yourself out there, honey. One wayward soul to another. All right. Well, we completed the quest. Is that everything the Duchess has for us? I'm really happy that I get to put a face to the name. We finally get to meet Duchess. Is that it? Anything else? Get you something, doll? Okay, more, uh, more dialogue. You were willing to give me the key card to the cash. Are you not here to strike it rich like everyone else? No, doll. Appalachia's home to me. Always has been. There was no way I was staying away for long. I presumed I'd only be gone a couple of months. But I kept hearing stories about plagues and monsters and whatnot. When I heard everyone was finally coming back because of some treasure, I figured the monsters and all must have been made up to scare people off. Seems I just vastly underestimated the general populace's level of desperation. So I came back to sell them all drinks and to finally be home again. I'm curious, what did you do before the war? Me? Businesswoman. Carved a nice place out for myself in uh -huh. pharmaceuticals. Oh, really? I made some friends along the way, and lots of enemies. But I was also able to put away enough scratch and supplies that when the end came, well, I was in better shape than most. Traded nearly all of it in order to build this place, though. Now, the wayward's my legacy. And it'd be nowhere without you. Chad is reminding me that I got the plans for a bow. That's right, I did see that. <clears throat> hey! Hey! The game knows that I looted the note in Welch. And it has unlocked a dialogue option here for me. There was a woman down in Welch who went by the name of Duchess. Any relation? Oh yeah, I've heard of her. <laughs> Rumor was that she was a smart, savvy, effortlessly beautiful drug kingpin. But I don't think you want to find her, honey. Mm. Left a trail <laughs> of broken families wherever she went. Lucky for us all, that gal disappeared when the bombs dropped. <clears throat> World already had all the monsters it could stomach. Okay, so Duchess is reformed these days. Well, I suppose that's good. So what's the deal with Bessie? Great, isn't she? I got her for a steal because the military took all her guns when they retired her. She's the pack ox forklift hybrid I never knew I wanted. I never would have been able to haul all this stuff up here without her, let alone build this place up. Was Saul's idea to paint her, upgrade her voice module to something more fit in her role. Any leads on other treasures? Nothing other than the rumor of the big one everyone keeps babbling about being tucked away somewhere nearby. I've heard it's a city that drops riches from the sky and that it's a drill that crawls around underground. And Another at this point, I would not be the least bit surprised to find out it's somehow both. So she's talking about the mother load. We've already met that particular drill. 
All right. Come back when you need to work out your drinking muscles. All right. So, let's see. Do we have any more dialogue with these fellas? Come for the view? What's up? Nope. Some other time then. How about you, Saul? Hey there, stranger. Look, I can't say this with enough emphasis. Polly and I would be pushing up daisies if you hadn't shown up when you did. You saved us. Seriously, all the gratitude I've got doesn't amount to what you deserve. Here, I want you to have this. I've been saving it for a rainy day, but you earned it. So, there's something I can do for you? How are you doing? Yeah, a lot better now I'm out of that pit. But Dutch has spotted me a couple stems, so I'm not too worried. I've had worse. Bounce back just fine. Just takes time, you know, which is the one thing I've got plenty of. What's the deal with you and Polly? You two seem pretty close. We look out for each other. Not sure how long you've been out of the vault, but if you want to make it out of here, you need someone watching your back. Preferably multiple someones. And Polly's been that person for me for a while now. Yeah, see, Duchess and Polly, they didn't work great together. Uh, Duchess treated her like a protectron, a servant to be bossed around. But she's a lot more than that. I don't know if all Assaultrons are like her, or it was something to do with her reprogramming. But she's... <laughs> like a real lady. Yeah, and once I got Duchess to see that, well, it was smooth sailing. Or as smooth as this group gets. Willing to tell me what happened in Golly Mine? Well, not much to tell. Scorched just overwhelmed us. It's weird. They seem rock dumb. But sometimes... Sometimes it just seems like... Like they know things that they shouldn't. Like they're talking to each other somehow, just without words. Uh, we were holding our own just fine till I got shot. It's a whole lot harder to aim when you can only balance on one leg. <laughs> Once I went down, Polly went ballistic. <laughs> Could say she lost her head over it. <laughs> oh, Saul. You joker. Talk to you later. Now, we went to all this trouble to get her a new body, but she's still on this moonshine jug. What's the deal, Polly? Watch yourself out there. Bunch of crazy robots running around Appalachia. Well, crazier. So what, you haven't gotten your body yet? All right. Let's see if that uh, <clears throat> body of the ghoul is still up here. Nope. <clears throat> of the Scorch. Man, I, I'm chugging beverages. I'm drinking everything in my stash. Oh, what have I got to drink? Syrup? I should probably go back to camp and get some more, um, more water. Oh, wait, no, I got some. Here we go. Okay, well, that part is done. <clears throat> now, so here's the deal. I want to do a lot of uh, live streams all this week about Wastelanders, and I want to do more live streams today as well. Um, I have a four-hour hard break here on YouTube. If I broadcast for longer than four hours, YouTube has a hard time processing the replay. So um, at the four-hour mark, I'm going to end the broadcast for a bit, take a, a break, maybe 10 minutes or so, and then I'll be back with another live stream because there's more about Wastelanders I want to get to know. But um, before we leave, I mean, we finished this quest. It's a good place to stop. But before we leave, I kind of want to go to Charleston to see if we can track down the 888 watch street thing let's do that real quick then i'll take a break then we'll come back and do more quests okay charleston <clears throat> uh downtown charleston Angus says, what time is it for you? Well, it's early. It's uh, 8, uh, 8, 10, my time. So I've got all day. 
It's not like I, I can go anywhere or do anything. What with the, uh, the quarantine. <laughs> What about the Overseer? Yeah, I want to do that when I come back. Joe says, your Far Harbor series is fantastic, Ox. I enjoyed it, and I like listening to it at work. It makes my day a lot easier. Thank you. You're welcome, Joe. Thanks for watching. All right, now, I have no idea where to even look for, for Watch Street. 888 Watch something Street. It's probably in downtown Charleston here. Okay, we've got a street, <clears throat> but the ru but it's been ruined because of the flood, the Charleston's floods. Uh, Washington Street, State Capitol, Wade. So if we're looking for a residential spot, I mean, we can look to these apartment complexes. Where did the brothers have their apartment? 888. Hmm. Well, let's remind ourselves. Um, read between the lines, James. Eight 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 eight. It's so cryptic. If we could find the street, then we could find the house number. I mean, there's a house right here, but it's probably all boarded up and I don't see any eights on it. Charleston also had all of those mansions. Would it be a mansion? They dealt in robotics, right? And all these houses are boarded up, and I'm still not finding that street name. Hmm. Oh God, I hate chickens. Someone help, please. Whoa. Oh God, I hate Someone help, please. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for killing that thing. You don't know how long it's been chasing me. Thanks again. You can keep the chicken if you want. I don't eat meat. <laughs> okay, sure, I'll eat it. Glad it's not going to waste. Wow, oh, scared of a chicken. Well, that's uh, that's a random encounter for you. 888 Watch Key Street, says Connor. 888 Watch Key Street. Where would we find Watch Key Street? Watch Key Street is probably no more. It's been destroyed. I'm looking for street signs. That's the Charleston train yard. Uh, that's Hornwright. Well, Hornwright's around. No, Hornwright's downtown. Oh!
All right, sorry about that. It's morning. My kids just woke up. I'm going to I'll log off here in a bit to say hi to them. Uh, but I've got a few more minutes. Bookstore, beauty salon. All right, so this is residential. This isn't going to, or not, this is commercial. It's not residential. It's not where their houses is, or houses are going to be. Vladimir says there were number eights on the clocks in that room. Watch, clock. In many non-English languages, they are the same word. Enter the time from the clocks. Yeah, but where, right? Like, there wasn't an input for that. Watch Key Street. Plus, it said something about Charleston. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to spend a lot of time looking for this thing, because it could be a dead end. It could be... It could be a whole big wha uh, fat whop of nothing. <clears throat> um, now these mansions are in Charleston. On the outskirts of Charleston. Oh, that's right. The purveyor changed. Oh, let's go check that out. Let's go visit the purveyor. Well, we still have time. I think I've got... Yeah, I've got a few more minutes before I need to take a quick break. Let's go visit the purveyor and see what the purveyor's new shop looks like. Pain train is saving me ammunition. So the purveyor was at the Berkeley Spring Station, but they moved. Listen up. All Blood Eagles out there are invited to a show. We captured Beckett. If you want to see blood and roast a pig, then come on down to Poseidon. Bring your friends. If they ain't Blood Eagles, they'll get shredded too. Ally, this is a new... Oh, these are the two new allies we can get. After hearing a nasty broadcast from Rollins' labor camp, I've decided to rescue someone named Beckett from the Blood Eagles. Remember at the beginning of the broadcast, I was talking about these new companions that we can get? However, they're not really companions. They're called allies, and um, we can save them and maybe even have them come to our camp. Well, these are them. Crash Landing and, and Beckett. But I don't have time for them right now. Uh, where, was, where was I going? I was going to the purveyor at the Rusty Pick. Uh, Isholda comes says, is RTX on? Certain What's light on? effects are super bright. Um, does... Fallout 76 support RTX? Well, what are you looking at, lady? Well, look at that. I've never seen that type of bird before. If you need some ammunition, I can help. Ooh, an ammunition vendor? Um, I can pass a charisma check to get a much more rarer ammunition or, an, or a strength check. Since you offered load me up, don't be shy now. Uh, so, <laughs> um, is that stealing from her? I've been running low. I'll take it. Uh, my, my supply is well stocked. All right. Take care. Um, my, my lighting effects are on um, ultra. But I, I don't think RTX is supported in this game. I'm not sure. Wow, look what they did. Well, the rusty pick doesn't look that different, actually. I did a video on the rusty pick. Yeah, this all looks the same outside. Let's see what the inside is like. Whoa!
It's Murmurger! Legendary module, vault steel scrap. I wonder what that's for. What's over here? Good eats? So it's just decoration. We can't get in there. Hey, there's the scrap thing. Okay, so this is the one I got from that machine and I don't need it, so let's grind it. Ski area boundary. What's in that? Oh, that's all the script. That's that's Murmurger's legendary script. Okay, so that's uh that they kept the lore intact. That's good. What's over here? Tinkerer's workbench. Oh! A raider corpse in there. <laughs> a raider corpse with script in there. Lots of signs on the wall. And the Tinkerer's workbench. Can I get in there? What is that? Oh, that's the fortune. Kingslayer says, Hey, Ox, love you, man. Stay safe. Oh, don't forget about Horizon Zero Dawn for a future playthrough. Sounds interesting. Maybe when it comes to PC, I'll check it out. All right, I know I have script that I could spend, but I kind of want to wait until... I understand what this legendary module is. 50 script for a legendary module. What does that do? I've got 144. I could get a legendary, a three-star legendary ranged weapon. But you know what? I'll do that in a bit. All right. Um, tell you what, ladies and gents, I'm running up against the four-hour time limit for a YouTube broadcast. I'm going to end the broadcast, take about a 10-minute break, and then I'll be back. And when I come back, we'll continue with our quests. We'll tackle, we'll, uh, maybe we'll tackle the two new ally quests that we have to get companions at our, um, or allies, I guess they're called, to get allies at our camp. Uh, we'll track down the overseer. There's a lot to do, and we've got all day to do it. We've got all week to do it. So more to come. I'm taking a break. I hope you'll come back for part two of the Wastelander broadcast, and I hope you liked part one. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you all very soon in about 10 minutes or so, about a 10-minute break. See you guys soon. Bye-bye now.